All right, everybody. Uh, hello. Good morning. Good afternoon. Wherever you are in the world, let me know that you can see me uh, and that you can hear me. Give me a sign into the chat. It is great to be here. Uh, we're live from Orlando. It's uh, as you would expect. It's sunny. Uh, it's very hot. Um, but it's great to be here with you. Type into the chat and let me know that you can hear me and you can see me. You should be able to see me uh, waving at you and also talking uh, to you as well. So let's see who we've got. Look, we're going to have 500 on here very quickly. So please, uh, when you are here, lock down your space. Do not leave. Michael, good to see you. Uh, Roberto, hi from Dublin. Uh, I was there a few weeks ago. It was great to be there. Fabulous city. Uh, Michael says, another beautiful day here in Florida. You bet it is. Jared is in Aberdeen, uh, Washington. Emma Green says, good morning. Can hear and see you. Great to see you. Emma Christian from New York City. Danny is loud and clear. Uh, great to see you again from New Jersey. Hello, Danny. Uh, Susanna, always great to hear from you. Uh, Patricia is in Massachusetts. We've got Summer in Jacksonville. Uh, the team were up in Jacksonville the other night at the Jags game. Uh, Joanna, always great to see you. Uh, fellow Floridian. Uh, type into the chat. When you come on in, say hello. Where are you from? Kimberly says, beautiful fall Saturday in Idaho. Always good to see you. Uh, Kimberly, type into the chat. Come on in when you do and say hello. Eugene, uh, hi, Polly Boy from Staten Island, New York. Good to see you. Uh, Joseph uh, from Woodcliffe Lake. I uh, was up there recently. Joseph, nice to see you. Beautiful part of the world, uh, Woodcliffe Lake. Great to have some perspective. One of the reasons I love to do my tours is that I can get to uh, really put a, um, a picture, if you like, to the places uh, when you guys all come on these uh, webinars, which is great. Woodcliffe Lake uh, was stunning, and it was wonderful to uh, get to see more of New Jersey than just the uh, industrial smoke, smog, whatever you want to call it, that seems to come out of um, or certainly rises up whenever I land in, in Newark. Uh, New Jersey is uh, certainly very different from the perspective that you have when you land there in Newark. So uh, it was great to see it. Uh, Joseph says, I saw you. I'm the guy who sat in the convo with everyone. I forgot to tell my wife where I was. Uh, good news is, oh, Joseph, I remember it well. Um, the good news is I'm still married. Great. Uh, we, get, uh, we get New Jersey smoke in New York. Uh, hit go live. Where is go live? What am I looking for, Amy? Oh, in the Facebook. I was trying, but I it was getting too complicated. So I'm going to leave it till tomorrow. Um, what else? I think we've got enough. 500 we're going to be full, Amy, anyway. So uh, I don't think we can fit any more people on this uh, chat today, which is good. So um, what's going on? Type into the chat. What are you looking for? What can I help you with today? I'd love to know. Give me some perspective before we start. Uh, we're live on Instagram. Well, that's good enough for me. Um, type into the chat. What are you looking for today? What can I help you with? What's the, the, the big thing that you're looking for, for uh, from this webinar today? Let me know. Uh, how I can help you. Kimberly wants to know what's new in Google and Facebook. Yep, love to share with you that. Got tons of ads to show you today. This is going to be uh, very um, in-depth. It's going to be very theoretical as well as practical. I'm going to show you things that people are doing right now on Facebook, uh, on Google, on uh, social media, newspaper ads, what they're doing with their follow-up, the whole thing uh, we're going to share with you today. Michael, glad to continue learning about marketing uh, renewed sparkle in my marketing. Emma, it might be uh, for you some things that you've heard before, uh, which is probably the most important thing. Uh, it's not always about finding something new. Uh, it's nearly always about remembering something that you forgot. There you go. Patricia says new ideas. All right, type into the chat who's brand new to me. I'd love to know. Uh, Eugene wants sales, sales, sales. Uh, type into the chat. What's your story with me? Tell me your origin story. How did you hear about me? How did you find out about me? Uh, keep typing into the chat. Let me know what your origin story of Paul is. I always love to do this just so I know where uh, the, the, the trail leads, if you like, back to. Was it podcast? Was it book? Was it uh, Jared? Was it uh, anybody or a conference that I spoke at? Tell me YouTube. Let me know your origin story so I know where you've come from uh, to make your way here today. Was it a random Facebook ad? Was it uh, at a conference? Was it through an Impact Magazine advertisement? Tell me what, what your origin story is. Uh, Michael says, met you at SSPT Live in 2019, talked with you and purchased your books. Heard about you through the grapevine originally, but started following you at SSPT. Scott says, found the podcast uh, two years ago. Referral from Rick Daigle, super guy is Rick. 
Uh, Babji says, loved your podcast, was pushed by Tulsi uh, to join. Joseph says, podcast. Who else? What else? Tell me your origin story. Come on, type into the chat. Let's get some participation. Uh, you know what I'm like. I love to interact and have some fun with you. Patricia says, did the accelerator program. Uh, what else? Type into the chat. Let me know. Head about you from Greg Todd and Francisco. I uh, met you at SSPT, uh, part of Franz K9 PT pack. Cheryl says, head about you at Smart Success and Physical Therapy and have your book. Uh, Danny says, we met at the bar in New Jersey with Joseph, Kento, and James. We'd like to hear advice on how to get cold leads. All right, well, we're going to do all of that uh, today. So wherever you are, whatever you're doing, except if you're driving, um, try and play along. I will ask you questions. And the more interaction that I get from you, uh, the better this webinar training will be. I can get uh, more uh, contextual, if you like, with the things that I will teach you and give it relevance to you. Here's the difference, and I say this on the podcast. The podcast is theory. The podcast is us putting out information to get you interested. The trainings, the live trainings that we do with the next step, and, and it is what we really do. We try and break down the podcast kind of, you know, the listeners, and I respect the fact that we've got thousands of listeners. But really what we look for is, is, is action takers and people are going to take that next step. And to do that, um, I need uh, or it helps me to get uh, an understanding of where you are right now in relation to your marketing. So please, when I ask questions, be sure to type into the chat. It really helps the flow of the webinar and the, uh, the training rather than it just being about PowerPoints. I can genuinely help you to get uh, you know, good, good insights, knowledge, and um, hopefully help make a profound change in your understanding of marketing. Uh, as it plays out. So don't be shy. Play it along. We will have some fun. Uh, interact. Answer some questions. Tell me what you're learning. Tell me what you don't understand. And I'll stop and I'll break all of this down for you. This is not a labor of love. I'm not here just for the sake of it. Um, I'm here because I want to genuinely help you understand marketing. Uh, and the best way that I can do it is through the uh, lens of what other people are doing to first of all give you some proof that uh, this stuff actually works, uh, help you realize that you don't have to spend your entire life kissing doctor's asses for referrals, uh, and nor do you have to run expensive and time-consuming workshops, uh, which could put you in the hole for 10 grand a month before you've even actually got a patient through the doors. There is a much simpler way to do that uh, or to get patients, and I'm going to share with it uh, all today. Uh, Christian, good to see you. I'm opening a new outpatient clinic in two weeks. Would love help uh, marketing my startup. Absolutely got some stuff for you. What do you think of outsourcing digital marketing? Um, I do uh, like the idea of outsourcing digital marketing, Christian, but here's the, here's the caveat. Only if you understand what you want. I'll say that again. Only if you understand what you want. That is a profound problem for many people is that they outsource marketing to, to, to people hoping that it's going to get done and the reality is they don't understand what they want themselves or what needs to be done you must understand the principles and the strategy outsource the tactics and that's what i always say outsource outsource everything tactically but not at the expense of you understanding it yourself so today and, and you know for some of you i know are going to join me in the accelerator program at the end of this um, that's ultimately what, what it's about. Even if you want to outsource things, you can't outsource stuff that you haven't got a clue what it is. It's like you, you're, you're just a recipe for disaster if you give somebody a couple of grand a month to run digital ads and, and you don't know what you want from it or you don't even know uh, how to keep them on track or accountable and so on and so forth. So uh, that's going to be big for you. Today is summer. I'm in the beginning stage of starting my mobile practice, so learning about everything, got all that for you. Uh, you're going to love this summer. Michael says, I do about eight to 10 treats per day with my original people. I've acquired, good for you. I'm still trying to build my brand and my story, but often confusing myself is what to say. Michael, you love this. This is right for you. Uh, Michael says, eight to 10 treats per week, not per day. Uh, good quality leads and then learn how to convert. All right, so we've got some great things in common here today. Good audience, uh, 500 of you, um, which is mega as always. Please don't leave. Uh, Patricia says marketing against in life hospitals and corporates telling they have to go to their PTs. Uh, well, you've got to you've got to snag them before they go to the docs, uh, Patricia. That's the that's the goal. Uh, Sanket has a hybrid clinic just joining us. We opened about a year ago, doing really well. Good relations with all doctors, but I don't want to depend on them. Love it. Amen to that, Sanket, uh, on them, and also want to improve per visit reimbursement. As my average is seventy five dollars, Sanket, I've just spent more in McDonald's. 
to put it bluntly. How on earth can you run a business when the average reinvestment is less than, I mean, $75? I mean, come on. It's, it's just not possible to get rich off $75 reinvestments. Let's look to see what we can do about that. Um, thank you today. So, right, let's get going. Everybody ready? Type into the chat if you want get, to get going with this. Marketing Champions 2019, what our most successful clinic owners are doing to get all their new patients and how you can do the same. So who this is for, it's for you if you're not getting enough new patients, you do not have a predictable system for getting new leads, you're working hard but without a plan. I keep keep talking about this concept of people doing for the sake of doing. What you have to have is a plan, then you can do. You need a yellow brick road if you want to get to Oz. If you want to be like Dorothy and make your way uh, to Oz figuratively, you need to stay on the yellow brick road. Most people do not have even any idea what Oz looks like, whether that's a million dollar business, and they certainly don't have a yellow brick road to get there. Ultimately, I won't teach you anything that doesn't start with a plan, and that's what we're gonna look at today. So you wanna grow your practice without needing referrals from doctors, uh, an in-network PT, you want some more cash pay in your life, in-network provider looking to drop the worst paying insurance companies. You wanna get new patients fast, even if nobody knows who you are. Um, and big one for many, uh, frustrated with the slow growth of your business and finally ready to do something about it. So um, I've got an idea of why everybody's here, but I'd love to just know your biggest frustration. Let me know, is it doctors? Is it insurance companies? Is it just confusion over marketing? Is it fear over you know, kind of spending money on marketing and not sure you're going to get a return? Just type into the chat and let me know what your uh, biggest frustration is. Here's some uh, things I'm going to promise you. I think we're going to be together for about two hours. Uh, so please... Uh, block out that time and be prepared. You're going to be enlightened. Um, wasting money on Facebook, insurance companies and lead generation, says Scott. How to create a marketing plan that could add 10 grand a month. Um, something called your clinic's profit potential. I'm going to show you the formula for that and really what a marketing system is about. A lot of people tell me that they want a marketing system for their business, but they don't really know what it's about. So I'm going to break down the three parts of it uh, today, as well as uh, the most successful campaigns, new Google ads and Facebook ads we've never shown before, um, and a marketing plan. Uh, and you will get at least six different referral sources today that don't include doctors. Uh, how to get patients without running expensive or time-consuming workshops. I'm hearing the rumblings again of, of people trying workshops and spending four, five, six grand a month uh, with workshops and, and just not getting the outcome. You know, that, that ultimately, even if they do get patients, they're only getting $75 reimbursements and so on, which makes it almost impossible. And, and you know, kind of what was the point by the time you've spent 20 hours putting the thing together. Um, and the big thing, Google and Facebook updates. Yeah, everybody knows it now. Google, uh, the massive changes at Google and Facebook recently, artificial intelligence uh, is something that a lot of clinic owners are uh, jumping in on the back of that just makes it so much easier to find patients now from Google um, than ever before. And uh, at Paul Goff Media, it's something that we're almost now inundated with people asking us to do their Google ads. Uh, we actually brought in a Google expert just a couple of months ago to uh, really leverage the opportunity now that exists for clinic owners with Google. And if you run Google in conjunction with Facebook, um, it's, it's fabulous. You know, whatever niche you're in, uh, we've got ads running in small towns, big cities, uh, all across America, or in Australia, in Britain. Uh, Google and Facebook now are are approaching the you know the time to kind of to, to leverage it. Um, a lot of you talk about uh, the new patient accelerator and people have been in touch saying when are we starting the next one? Well, it starts a week on Monday, um, and what we're going to be giving away is ten of these. So stay till the end. Um, I've got ten of these babies to give away, which is hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of ads, scripts, marketing campaigns inside. Um, by the end of this webinar, ten people will have a free one of these. So make sure you stay till the end to, to, to get a chance to get access to uh, all of it, including the DVDs, the CDs, all of the ads and so on and so forth. So um, that's the, the Bible, if you like, when it comes to marketing. So we're gonna give away 10 free of these binders um, at the end of the webinar. So if you're serious about business, I'm gonna say this again. If you're serious about business, I'm serious about sharing with you what it takes to build a real business. And um, you know, all the way through my trainings and 
my journey as a, as a teacher uh, of business, that's all I ever look for. Uh, I'm not interested in, in time wasters or people who just kind of flirt with business and, you know, listen to a few podcasts or, you know, like a few posts on Instagram or whatever. Uh, we look for students, genuine students of business who want to get involved with us, who want to learn, who want to grow, who know that one little thing can uh, change the way you see your business. And that can be the, the, the spark, if you like, that you need uh, to ignite uh, this business for many of you i don't really i don't think you realize how close you are uh the simple tweaks to your phone calls the simple tweaks to your marketing messages uh for some of you it will be just adding a follow-up system to your business that i'll talk to you about today that will genuinely genuinely add thousands of dollars in revenue uh to your business so um it's going to be fun uh for the next couple of hours so why are we really here? What's the number one challenge? What's the growth problem for all of us? The biggest frustration, the life but of a business, of course, it's marketing. Marketing, marketing, marketing. I've got four books on Amazon, and I can tell you now, for every, um, you know, for every book I sell on sales or hiring or on, uh, on health, I sell four marketing books. It's just unbelievable how many people just cannot crack the code on marketing or want to know more about marketing. It's the lifeblood of your business. Uh, and really, that's what we're dedicating the next two hours to you and um, to, to learning. And, you know, just again, to bring this to your attention, you've got to be now looking at direct marketing to the public, to the community. Cash PT clinics are everywhere, making it, you know, kind of more fierce now. They can set up very, very quickly. Referral sources are drying up. Everyone I speak to tells me that, that some doctor used to refer to them now doesn't. Uh, even speaking to a doctor yesterday who, uh, sorry, a PT yesterday who said it is friendly with, with one of the doctors uh, in his area and has been for 20 years. And all of a sudden the referrals have started to dry up, not because the doctor's not wanting to send them. It's just basically because the hospital system he's now attached to um, means that he can only send uh, a maximum of 10% outside of the, the, the system, if you like. So it's legitimately getting harder. Uh, Co-pay and deductibles are getting in the way. Um, and there's just a dreadful amount of poor marketing. Dreadful. Dreadful of misunderstood uh, you know, ads and really what it's about. And, and that's, I actually think, is turning more people off than anything. Uh, PTs are running ads, literally promoting PT and, you know, selling themselves of how good their service is and so on. And, and they're just dreadful. They, they literally turn more people off than they'll ever turn people on. So um, you've got to uh, consider this. I believe um, this is important to you right now. There has never, ever been a better time to get ahead, to do this right, to get your marketing right. You know, we do this in September every year so that we can get you focused um, on the rest of the year and uh, look at starting 2020 with a bang. Uh, and make it your best year ever. So um, little thing to, to start off with, what's the purpose of a marketing plan? Well, people always ask me, oh, why do I need a plan? Well, <laughs> quite simply to make uh, achieving an additional $100,000 easier. Uh, that for many of you, as I'm going to show you, it's just a two or three tweaks. Well, three to be specific. It's three tweaks in your uh, current business model um, that would add an extra $100,000 to your business uh, for you new businesses you're going to love this and for you more uh, uh, developed or experienced businesses uh, you're going to read this and weep because I'm sure you're going to find yourself in it uh, this is the path this is the path of a typical PT clinic it starts uh, quite nicely in the first 12 months with some profit and some patience and then you enter the dreaded red zone and you get stuck in point B for around about 25 years and you spend what appears to be 25 years in business but the reality is you are in business one year 25 times and you get stuck the only way that you can grow predictably and reliable uh, reliably is if you adopt the style of marketing paul style marketing that i'm going to teach you today it's about lead generation it's about building relationships with patients and most importantly it's about the follow-up it's about the marketing message it's about selecting the right person that you want to do business with snagging their attention showing them why you're the best and, and why ultimately you can provide the most value and if you do that people will pay any one of you who tells me right now that you can't get patients to pay i will look you in the eye and tell you it's because your marketing is shit that's the bottom line. Your marketing, if it is crap, that's one thing. If it actually exists, that's another. That's why you cannot get people to pay. Marketing does the job. Marketing does the job of pre-framing somebody for the value that they will receive when you uh, treat them. Everything is based upon perception. It is the one single thing that I wish PT schools would have taught us all that everything is about perception, not a fucking certificate on a wall and not 
D before your name. None of that means shit to most people. It is all about perception. And perception is influenced by marketing. Why do most people struggle to get most of their patients to pay out of pocket or to pay higher fees? Because their perception is that you are just another PT. And if you are just another PT, guess what I will do? I will find the cheapest version of PT because I have no reason to discriminate in your favor. That is what marketing does. That's the simplicity of marketing. When it's taught right and it's implemented properly, marketing is rocket fuel to good clinicians. You show me a good clinician and it will have a hundred good clinicians. It won't mean anything if they don't have a good marketing system. In fact, the best clinicians usually have the worst businesses because they think they can get away with it for 25 years without having a marketing system. And it's only towards the end where they start to face up to it and think, you know what, there might actually be something in this marketing thing. So if you're on this, on, on this webinar now, not to 12 months, great, well done. But avoid this. This is coming down the line. And if you're stuck in there, we have to make some changes. We've got to get you over here into that world of... Um, of predictable growth in profits and patients. And you can only do it with a solid and reliable marketing system. A marketing system has three parts. You try and miss any one of the parts, you will be in a world of hurt and you will stay stuck. So we want you to avoid this or get out of this. So any one of our clients, we've now got hundreds of documented case studies, anybody making a hundred grand or more with cash pay uh, revenue coming through, implemented, what I'm about to share with you today. So a quick introduction if you don't know who I am and you found me for the first time. Former professional soccer PT, multi-clinic owner, has my office uh, back in Britain. Uh, me and my early years on the uh, football field, soccer field as we call it, and there's my books uh, which are now selling all over the world and uh, responsible for now one of the biggest podcasts in the in the planet uh, for small business marketing and, and business advice uh, and we sell I think anywhere up to a thousand or fifteen hundred books every month to physios all over the world so um, we're bringing to you a lot of content and a lot of information and, and uh, most of it comes from the fact that we're now working with so many clinics so everything I share with you in my books uh, it, it's happening and everything you hear on my podcast it's happening everything you here on this webinar, it's happening. Uh, my favorite role, um, I am the proud daddy to now three beautiful little boys. I'm the uh, father of three, which is very, very fun and very, very loud now. Uh, Tobias in the middle, Harry on the left, and Grace now our brand new baby, four weeks old on the right there. So uh, life is very fun right now uh, in the Goff household. That is for sure. Winner of the Infusionsoft Award, best in class, it's all about systems. Every one of my businesses is built upon systems. We, we start with a system with everything that we do and we build it out before we bring it to market. Uh, and I use Infusionsoft to do all of that stuff. Um, everything that you've just gone through, whether you've registered for this webinar and started getting emails, all of that is through a system. It's all pre-built, it's all done. And I literally turn up 20 minutes to go and I teach this webinar. It's been going on for two weeks behind the scenes all of the hard work is done um, and it means we can rinse and repeat these webinars time and time and time again. So when you systemize things, it really does make your life uh, easier. You can find me at polgotphysio.com, uh, The Healthy Habit Book, PT Profit Academy, polgotphbooks.com and so on and so forth if you are brand new to Paul's world. Uh, turn off your cell phones and close down your internet browsers. Let's, let's, let's learn some things today. Let's learn. We've got 50 attendees and three panelists and a partridge in a pear tree. Uh, so we're going to have a lot of fun, uh, but most importantly, we're going to share a hell of a lot with you. Have a pen and paper handy ready to take notes and follow along and focus for 90 minutes on the material that I will be teaching you today. going to start with my uh, story and how marketing really changed my life and all the fears and doubts that I had. Uh, I can see uh, Sanket talking in here about raising rates and uh, the fear if a patient is not satisfied with my services after charging them. Uh, and so on and so forth. So uh, every everything's uh, nothing new, Sanket, nothing new. Everybody has that same doubts and fears. And it really comes from, if you're honest with yourself, it's because of a lack of understanding of what people are buying. People are not just buying physical therapy. There isn't a single thing, Sanket, where you hand money over, where you're actually giving all of that money uh, just for the outcome. Not not a chance. Every, every single purchase decision you make, if you spend $100, 
it, there are so many things factored into what you're paying for, whether it's perception, whether it's customer service, whether it's the actual outcome, whether it's trust, whether they just like you as a person and they want to be around you. Uh, there is no business on earth that just sells the product as in physical therapy. And if you truly understand all of this, that's where you get the confidence from to go, that's my price. Look them in the eye and stand in silence and wait for them to answer it. That's it. It's, it's knowledge. It's mastery. It's a deep, deep study of the topic that you are about to spend the rest of your life engrossed in. It baffles me. It baffles me. In fact, it used to annoy me. Now it makes me laugh. In fact, it's great for the rest of us. Think about how moronic it is that people start businesses, invest life savings into businesses, in, in, uh, pimping out their fucking premises, spending money on shit that they don't need, beds and fancy ultrasound machines and all sorts of crap, t-shirts, swag, bottles, bags, t-shirts, fucking logos to create this brand. And then never, ever, ever even spend a couple of thousand dollars on learning how to build a fucking business. It is stupid, right? And, and stupid people deserve what, what they get, which is ultimately misery. That if they can't face up to the fact that, look, this is a real walk and talk and thing that you've got into which is business that has so many moving parts that you have to understand and if that person wants to spend 25 years with no understanding of how to actually run a business and constantly blame the government constantly blame insurance companies constantly blame their patients and constantly blame not being able to find staff good you go over there and do all your whinging but don't come anywhere near me I'll be studying, I'll be reading, I'll be learning, I'll be implementing, I'll be learning lessons, and I'll continue to move forward with my business, both as an owner and as a person, I'll continue to grow. And that's really what separates the average from the fucking brilliant ones. And, and, and for you all on this webinar now, what bracket are you in? That's what I'm going to start to propose to you. What bracket are you in? This, this is, you know, this is really the nuts and bolts of it. What, what category are you going to spend the rest of your life in? Whinging and whining and bitching and moaning and blaming the government and blaming insurance companies over here? Or are you coming over here with me? Well, we're going to learn some stuff. We're going to implement some stuff. We're going to face our fears. We're going to tackle it anywhere. We're going to look patients in the eye and tell them what the price is. We're going to figure out our marketing systems. We're going to help people. We're going to add value. We're going to bring in staff. We're going to grow them as people. We're going to grow great organizations. And we're going to make a shitload of money from doing it. You let me know what category you want to be in. If it's the first, you might as well leave this webinar right now and let somebody else on who does want to come into the other. I'm going to show you how you can implement a new marketing plan at your clinic, how to accelerate the process of creating a complete marketing system with the help of an advanced training. Accelerate is the, the, the foremost marketing training on the planet now for PTs. That's not for debate anymore. Over 650 people have gone through it and I'm going to give 10 of you a chance to, uh, to enroll in it with me at the end of the webinar. But we've got a lot to do between then and now. So I started life as a, a soccer professional, um, physio, loved it. It was my dream job, but I knew I wanted to be more entrepreneurial. And if I was going to make the income that my skills deserve and ultimately give my family a chance at a better life, I was going to have to take a risk on starting my own PT business. Very, very risky and frightening, especially as I had a pretty nice salary working in uh, soccer back then. But what made it worse for me was that the country I was starting that business in has a completely free healthcare. Every single um, member or citizen of the United Kingdom gets free physical therapy paid for by the government by a socialist healthcare system. But I started the business anyway. I risked it. Uh, I started the Polgoff Physio Rooms from scratch in 2007, uh, literally out of a spare room in my home. Um, I had no money, no experience, and no business skills, and certainly had no relationships with doctors. Nothing. I was charging cash. No doctors wanted to know me. We have a mutual respect of each other, me and doctors. They don't like me just as much as I don't like them. That's just a beautiful, beautiful place. In fact, um, the doctors not willing uh, to even give me a chance was the reason that I had to learn marketing. For that, I am deeply grateful for their ignorance. I am deeply grateful for their ignorance in even considering sending their patients to a cash-based practice and i will every night thank the lucky stars above me for the ignorance of those doctors and when i say we have a mutually beneficial relationship we really do i don't have to have anything to do with them and they don't have to have anything to do with me and it works very very nicely there you go so um it was very tough in the beginning competitive uh, or competing against free uh, but eventually i was able to get going I made use of friends and family and managed to build a steady client base. I even got approached from third-party referrals, 
workers' comp, which, uh, whiplash claims, and so on, which is where I got going. And in 2011, I was doing all right. I was doing all right, surviving, making a living, but nothing amazing for running a business. Um, and my profits had completely flatlined about three or four years in. And because of the cutbacks in the national health, a few jobs were available, meaning more PTs setting up in their own practices. Uh, a recession, if you remember, the greatest uh, global recession, uh, certainly in recent times, happened around about then. Insurance companies whacked their prices, big cutbacks to the reimbursement fees, making it very, very hard to make a profit. Uh, many times I would come in to be told that my rates were getting cut by 30 to 40%. Uh, it meant I would have to work twice as hard to get the same take-home pay at the end of the month. New practices setting up against me everywhere. It just felt like everywhere I looked, um, things were turning for the worst. But the least of my worries, my own health was beginning to suffer. Um, at the beginning of 2012, I was working so hard, seeing so many patients. I think it was probably 22, 23 visits a day. Um, by the end of it, my hands would be hurting so bad couldn't even use them to send an SMS on my cell phone. Uh, but worse, 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 worse to come. Um, I ended up here in Orlando, quite literally, in 2012 uh, with a suspected heart attack. I was rushed into the Dr. Phillips Hospital um, and suffered a heart scare at the age of just 31. I was on holiday, uh, actually in SeaWorld, the day that it, uh, it all went really badly. Uh, I was told by the doctors that my business had caused the heart stress and that I had to make some lifestyle changes. Um, the issue... The issue when I really faced up to it, it wasn't that it was insurance companies, it wasn't doctors not referring, it wasn't patients not wanting to pay, it was that I, as in me, my fault, you know, all everything good in my life is me, everything bad in my life is me, I was not in control of my practice. I had succumbed to the usual crap of, of physios uh, telling us that uh, it can't be done and you have to accept these fees and patients will never pay out of pocket and they'll always go to the free system and so on and so forth. That is a complete load of crap. But at the time, uh, it was all because I wasn't in control of my practice. I was relying upon all of these third party referrals, people crashing cars. Um, I, literally, I was making a living waiting for somebody to crash a car and I was getting their referral to do their PT after they crashed the car. What a joke. How bad. How bad was it back then that my business was built on somebody crashing a car? Like, as I look back, I'm horrified by it, that I was getting referrals based upon that type of thing. Um, and I was having to literally check the forecast, thinking, you know what, like, is there actually going to be any referrals coming in in the next few weeks or, or, or months? I was worrying constantly over whether or not they would refer to me. Um, and I had no way of growing or scaling um, on my terms, meaning I felt trapped and constantly under pressure. So something had to give. Um, I knew deep down uh, the only solution was to work out how to take back control, which for the 500 of you on this webinar, I suspect many of you are in that situation right now where it's, even if you've started the business, it feels as though you're out of control. If you're 20 years into the business, it probably felt as though you've never been in control. That's the paradox. At the, at the beginning, you know, you, you're kind of wondering um, when you'll ever get control. And then towards the end, you realize you've never been in control. It's, it's just, if you're not careful, this business, will, it'll, it'll grip your life and it'll, you know, it'll have you, um, it'll have you the wrong, uh, you know, the wrong way of, of uh, 18 hour days with very little to show for it. So for many, I, I know when I speak to my clients, that's ultimately what we have in common, if you like, we're very kindred spirits, is that um, we uh, certainly start to work with businesses at the beginning when they feel out of control or, or never actually in control of that uh, business that they've got. My next problem is this, zero marketing skills. Zero marketing skills. And because I relied upon patients being sent to my practice, I wasn't very good at converting people to a cash pay service, much like what Eugene mentioned earlier today it's the conversion it's the it's the price but ultimately the price is dictated by the marketing that's done the, the price that i pay is dictated by the perception i have of you and whether or not i feel as though the 200 dollars that you want from me is worth the money i didn't understand all this back then therefore i literally relied upon phone calls and people uh, asking me how much i charged i would tell them and then they would say thank you i'll let you know and obviously they didn't they never ever came back to me which is where when I understood this concept of, of value-based marketing and then the fortune in the follow-up, I put these two things together into my marketing system and boom, the whole thing, you know, the whole thing changed for me. So I wasted money on ads that didn't work. And if I did get calls, they were usually from what I would call the, the you know, the one-hit wonders. They just want a couple of sessions and out the door. Uh, not great to work with and would not want to comply. 
Um, and all that uh, was happening for three or four years. And, um, you know, thank my lucky stars. Uh, somebody taught me, I think it was on a webinar like this type of thing. Somebody taught me all about this thing called educational based marketing. And it, it was quite literally from this type of webinar, everything changed for me when I understood what educational or value based marketing is, how to market my practice by adding value up front so that patients see value in advance. The value doesn't start when you start massaging the leg or you start with the dry needling or you start with the treatment plan. It doesn't start there. It's got to start before they even call you. That's the difference. That's what the accelerator method is. If any of you have read the book, that's, that's what the whole concept is, is that the pain that many businesses feel today is because they allow the phone to ring from people who don't know what they do. They've done a random search, stumbled across you, randomly heard about you, picked up a business card, you know, that you posted in Starbucks or whatever. And yeah, you got a phone call, but you inherited somebody who really doesn't know anything about you and therefore will never pay your fees. So marketing by education or what I call information first, by giving people information, you're actually adding value up front. They see the value up front and therefore they are more likely to want to pay. It changed everything for me. Absolutely everything for me. I went on to build a million dollar plus practice in less than 13 months it took me once I figured out all of this stuff. We walked away from insurance companies um, completely. Well, 80% of, of my business is now cash based. Um, and doctors have never been, we've never been on each other's Christmas card list anyway. So there was no love lost there. But it meant that I never had to go there. Uh, 18 staff running the business for me. I've got my books um, and I find time to write these things which impact people all over the world. Uh, that's where I think, my, you know, for me, the legacy is with books. I, I want to kind of be defined by an author at the end of my life. And it's going to be pretty cool for my kids to be able to hop onto Amazon and uh, buy books uh, with all of my best advice and best knowledge inside of them. That if, uh, when the day arrives that I'm not around, uh, I figuratively am still around, if you like. So uh, much of what I do is actually with all of that type of thing in mind. So uh, they're, they're certainly for you to enjoy. Uh, but my books are also for my kids further down the line. Uh, I've got a self-serving practice. Its foundation is 80% of its patients coming to me, uh, paying in cash without any input from doctors. Uh, I now write two newspaper columns and have done for over six years. Uh, that was back in 2013, that article, and I'm not sure when the other one was, but we've been doing this type of thing now for a long, long, long time, and I hope that's what you understand about me. Um, I am committed to sharing with you what I do. I'm going to say that again. I share with you what I do. Not what I think and not what I have learned last week. And I'll you know, kind of start teaching you something because I jumped on somebody's webinar, which kind of is going on a lot these days in this profession where uh, the, the true fountain of knowledge, if you like, uh, you have to be very careful these days about whose knowledge you're buying because a lot of it is getting very diluted, uh, I will say respectfully. My stuff I've been doing for a long, 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 long time long time, including writing articles like this uh, with information first. I've been traveling with my kids while building a business for many years now. Uh, my kids have been all over from Australia, all across the US, San Diego, Philadelphia, New York. Uh, my business is a mule for a terrific life. And I think you should all write that down because that often gets lost. Write that down. And if you take nothing else from me today, that might just change your mindset. A lot of people are in love with the hard work, with the, the, you know, the, 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 the hustle, the grind. Never forget that a business is just a mule for a terrific life. That's it. And if you find yourself getting sucked deeper and deeper and deeper and deeper into this business with very little to show for it, there is a problem somewhere in that business. That mule is not working in the way that it should for you. Usually it is the marketing aspect of it. So we moved uh, this year to Orlando, uh, dream for us to live in the US. We now live here in celebration, uh, quite literally in, in paradise. We live in the happiest place on earth. I can see Disney uh, across the other side of the, the, the trees here today. I'll be there this afternoon with my boys. So getting, getting all of this right um, for me literally did change my life. And, and I hope that you can um, you know, kind of be in a position soon to, to do the same, that this business, if it's got you in a hole, it's got you in a bind at 70 hours a week, Sanket, it don't have to be that way. It's something that you're not doing. And that's the best news I can give anyone. The best news about life and the best news about growth, if you want more growth, you want more money, you want more fulfillment, here's the writer downer. Write this one down as well. It's not what you are doing, it's what you're not doing that will make the difference. Don't tell me what you are doing. Let's talk about what you're not doing. If you're working 70 hours a week and we're still not getting the results, it's obvious that it's not a hustle problem. It's not a take action problem. It's not a get my head down and do shit problem. 
It's a, I'm working on the wrong thing problem. It's I'm doing the same thing day in, day out, day after day after day after day problem. That's the problem. It's what you are not doing right now that defines you. I promise you. Listen to all the people bitching and whining and mourning around you. Check this out. Listen to this. Here's some magic for you. Every conversation that you have with somebody who is unhappy with their life, your staff will do it, your family will do it, your kids will do it, you will probably do it. Start with, but I'm doing all of this stuff. But mom, I did this. But we've been in business and we've been doing all of this stuff. They never, ever tell you what they're not doing. And it's the not doing that costs you. What are you all, 500 of you, what are you not doing? If you're not happy with your current situation, what are you not doing? And for 99.9% .9 of you, the other point one is my clients on this webinar. For the rest of you, I guarantee you, it's the absence of a marketing system. There is no marketing message. There is no follow-up system. There is no cash value system. What there is is hustle and grind and leaflets and business cards and the usual shit that the usual business owner does, but the usual business owner ends in misery. Don't follow them. Choose very, very wisely what you do next in your business. So for me, it's not just me that's benefiting from it. I've taught this now. Um, my accelerator method has been sold the book, you know, thousands all over the world. Uh, and we've got over 672 students now of the accelerator program, the actual official program. Uh, many of them, many of them now well past a uh, hundred figures. Kevin's actually approaching a million dollar uh, revenue business. He's on course for a million dollars this year in, in, in his business. We started working together. Together just a couple of uh, a couple of years ago, he started from scratch. He started from nothing, literally nothing. With five kids, uh, he's gone on to build nearly, like I said, million dollar revenue business, um, twenty grand a week. Uh, it's phenomenal, and best of all, being able to reduce his hours. Now you need to understand these case studies, and I'm showing you them early because I will show you some things in the next hour, and you will think, well, that won't work for me, or that you know that that's different. Or that that won't work for me, and blah blah blah, and you know this is too good to be true, and yada yada. That's up to you. If you foolishly want to think that way, and you want to rule yourself out from success, you you do that. But I'm going to show you people that are doing it. An insurance-based business owner has used these strategies. Nick has just dropped. Literally, I spoke to Nick yesterday. Nick's business is probably up towards 750 in revenue. Started from scratch three years ago. Nick has just dropped every single patient off his schedule. He is now 100% running the business, staff around him, doesn't treat patients, drop down from 60 hours a week, uh, spends more time inside of his, 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 with his family and his kids now than he ever, ever has before and his, big, his business has got bigger. Technically, he's working less in terms of the patients, but what he's really doing, he's thinking differently. He's got a different marketing system. He speaks differently to patients when they call up. That's another patient, another person, Troop D from DC, 50% uh, increase in revenue since putting these things into her, uh, her business. Finally has the clarity and a plan to grow a profitable cash-based business. That lady is a superstar. She is absolutely killing it. Prices are upwards of $300 a session, uh, doing tremendous things there in, in the DC area. Uh, when we first met, I think she was at 150. She just started her business. Uh, three years later, she's, she's well, 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 well past uh, six figures in cash pay revenue coming into our business. So this stuff works. It's not for debate. It's not for doubt. All it's going to be is, will you do it? So what we're going to start with is a marketing plan. So this is where we're going to really dig into some teaching now. Um, every marketing plan needs five things. Okay. Before you rush off and you hustle and you do stuff and you, you know, kind of all tell each other how busy we are, which people like to do these days. You know, it's the classic case of what you're up to. Uh, oh, I'm busy what you've been doing or, you know, busy, how's life busy? Everybody's busy, but people are not producing much. So let's assume that being busy is not what we need to do. What we need is a plan. Then we can get busy executing the plan. From now on, you can say, I'm busy executing my plan to make a million dollars in the next 12 months. How does that sound? I think it sounds a little bit better than I'm busy. I agree. So the five things you need, you need to consider the person, the media, the message, the budget, and most importantly of all, the system. Every great marketing plan needs a system to make it come to fruition. If Oz, think of the Wizard of Oz, right, Dorothy, if she wanted to get to Oz, right, that's the, that's the outcome, right? She needed a plan. So she had to stick to the yellow brick road to get there. If she left the yellow brick road, she got into trouble. The, the flying monkeys and the witches and all sorts of shit came after her. Stick to the yellow brick road and you'll make it.
right? That's ultimately what we're going to do. The system essentially is the thing that takes you up the yellow brick road. So number one, this is the first thing you must consider. Who will you target? No marketing can ever work without being clear on who it is that you want to target. Are you clear on who is your best spender? If you're trying to attract everyone, you'll attract no one. Um, some of you on here probably, you know, let's 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 say even um, the the person who said they were doing eight to ten visits, right? Let's say you've got ten patients on schedule. What I could tell you mathematically is that two or three of those patients spend more money with you easier. Isn't it just common sense that we go and find out who those two or three people are, and we build a marketing system to target those people to bring more of those people to you? That that seems pretty simple to me. I uh, am very laser targeted with who my perfect patient is. 55-year-old Mary, she wants to keep active and mobile. Same in this business. I want to work with insurance-based businesses who don't want to rely upon doctors, who are worrying about you know, losing their patients, who want to do something different, dip into the community. And I want to work with cash-based businesses who know that they can't get referrals from doctors, yet they still want to make a great impact. We're very, very clear. We're very, very clear on what the problem is. The problem is the fucking doctors. Always the doctors, right? The insurance companies, yeah, it's a pain in the ass. But if we can't get referrals from doctors because they're not going to refer to you because they've had to keep them in-house or you're a cash-based business and they're just not even going to entertain speaking to you, we've got a problem. So we know exactly who we want to talk to and who we want to work with. But at my clinic, um, I focus on one person, 55-year-old lady. Who are you currently marketing to? If it's everybody with a scattergun approach, that's why your marketing won't work. So number two, the message, the message. What will you say in your ads? Will you talk about solving a problem or will you connect with them by a fear that they have or a false belief that they hold? Okay, Every one of us has fears and every one of us has false beliefs. The best marketing usually connects with it. It usually connects with the false belief. You know, Have you been told that it's just your age and you have to accept it? That's a false belief. Are you worried about surgery? If you are, I would like to help you. That's a fear that a patient has. Are you fearful that you'll never be able to play golf again? Are you worried that your best days on the golf course are over? Are you worried that your most active days are behind you? That's what somebody is legitimately and genuinely thinking. Or will you try to advertise your services? When you know the who, you can make the perfect message. So something like this, are you worried about losing mobility or independence would work very well? Have you been told to keep stretching? So if you like to reach out to, for example, the CrossFit crowd, the typical CrossFit trainer or typical CrossFit athlete right now is being told by the folks in that studio with them that if they've got a shoulder pain, just keep stretching. Yes or no? That's what's happening. They're being told just to keep stretching. They're Googling it, they're YouTubing it, and they are finding stretching exercises for that shoulder problem when what they might have what they might have is a grade one or grade two tear in their supraspinatus tendon and, and they're going to need some help they're going to need some treatment but you can't put an ad out that says you know do you want some ultrasound and some massage on your supraspinatus tendon because that's not going to resonate with them that's not currently where they're at what you must speak and communicate through your marketing is what they're currently thinking and feeling they're currently being told to keep stretching. If you put that out to a guy or a gal on Facebook, on video today, and your audience is, cro is CrossFit, you will get people responding to your ads because they'll start to think that you understand what they're going through. There is an example of perception. Did your doctor tell you it was age and to just accept it? If he or she did, you need to come and call me. That message there, did your doctor tell you it was age and just to accept it? is the rock solid absolute bedrock of my business everything that has been uh, happened in my business over the last six or seven years come from my understanding finally that really the biggest pain that my audience live with is that their doctor is telling them it's their age and just accept it that is it that's the gold and once you understand that you put that into your marketing message and then you figure out where that person is, whether it's newspapers or magazines or Facebook or social media or whatever, and you just keep talking to them about how you understand that the doctor said, it's your age, accept your back pain. Did your doctor tell you 
it's knee pain, but it's your age and you have to accept it and there's nothing that can be done. That person resonates like crazy with it. So if you want to get to that, that six figures magical number, here's um, some self-reflection, right? You've got to stop running ads that look like this. These are my early ads. This is what life looked like when I first started marketing my clinic. Um, I'd call this an image ad or a brand ad, and it looks very nice, and you'd show that to some physios, and they'd think, oh, look great. Isn't it wonderful? Look at that picture of the wonderful back. Look at that. How, how sexy and exciting is this ad right now? We've got pictures of people holding their back, and I've even got a little logo there, and I've got my staff smiley and friendly and happy, and I'm talking about back pain and knee pain, and I'm, I'm telling somebody to call now and enjoy the benefits that private physio can bring. The problem is it doesn't resonate with anybody. It's not going to do that much, and it doesn't. Believe me, I spend thousands of dollars on these types of ads. They do jack shit. They do absolutely nothing. Unless you've got an unlimited budget and you can run that type of ad week after week after week after week and you can waste big money like the big stupid hospital systems do, you will never make marketing work. And that's the reason that you'll then say, oh, marketing doesn't work for me. The truth is the right marketing will work. The wrong marketing doesn't work for anybody in any profession anywhere in the world. This type of marketing looks nice, appears to be nice, and some fancy designer will do it for you and say, there you go, and you'll think, you know what, great, definitely everybody's going to call me, and they don't. So there's no message in this type of ad, and there's also no concept of the person, the who. What we want is ads like this that promise outcomes and show value. Everybody see the difference. Just type into the chat if you can see the difference. So if you know somebody who has recurring migraine headaches that are so fierce they have to lock themselves in a dark closet or shoulder pain that is ruining their enjoyment of living they can get out of life, it's time to show them this letter. The difference is sensational. The, the, the response that you get when you start to talk to people like this and you finally start to say, I know who I want to talk to, and I know what problems you're living with, and I'm prepared to spend three or $400 on a newspaper ad to hit 10 people with a migraine headache or a shoulder problem irritating their life, and knowing that those 10 people will call and already have some pre-built perception about what I can do for them changes the game when it comes to your conversations. This is the type of marketing that I advertise or, or, or um, advocate now to clinics all over the world. It's called information first. It's easy. It's so easy to, to do and to make work because everybody wants information. How can you say that they don't? Look at you. What, what is YouTube? It's a question engine. It's information. What's Google? Information. What's the internet? Endless stream of information. TV channels. Information. Like that's all we ever want. What is gossip? Information. What, what are most of our communications? We just pass on information. What are books? Information. The world exists on information. It's, it's a necessity before we make decisions. So this information first style of marketing that I'm advocating to you, it, it's non-negotiable that you must move to that. So with this type of ad, you're offering value first and are simply adding a step that asks them to engage and connect with your message first. So the third thing to think about in your plan is where to advertise to them. So only when you know who they are and your message is compelling, then and only then do you select the media. So this is the platform, okay? This is the bit that most people struggle with. This is the, the hardest thing to get right. It's the hardest nut to crack. But on this webinar today, and certainly in the Accelerator program, uh, we go through and, and give you pretty much every ad you'll ever need for every media that, that you've ever uh, likely to be able to, 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 you know, to run. The message in the person stays consistent, but the platform changes. So newspaper ads, I love newspaper ads. They still work great. Local events, community events, uh, your fundraisers, your market fairs, your you know, uh, maybe uh, a get together in a church hall, that type of thing. Your average patient is most likely to be at those things. Can you find them on Facebook? Are they looking for help on Google? Uh, do you need AdWords? A lot of people are relying upon the free listings right now and that's hurting them. The, the, the Google free listings thing is getting less and less responsive uh, because more and more people are spending money on Google ads. Therefore, the free listings are getting pushed all the way down. It's not, it's not being uh, as well received anymore. Postcards. Can you hit 300 people in your area with a postcard? The answer is yes. Uh, the answer is an overwhelming yes. For a dollar a, a, a pop, for $300, I can hit 300 people with my perfect audience with a laser-targeted message. I can get five or six people to respond to that. And if five or six people spend $2,000 with me, I'm 12 grand up for something that cost me $300. At what point would you stop that? Never. Look, there really isn't a marketing problem. 
what there is is a lack of marketing know-how problem and a marketing execution problem if we're all honest number four we need a budget so if you want an ad um, an additional 120 grand the uh, monthly financial target would be ten thousand dollars a month okay so this is how you create a marketing budget monthly financial target of ten thousand dollars a month everybody understand that that that's kind of what i want i want ten thousand dollars a month my fees per session should be at least two hundred dollars uh, for most people uh, let's say the patient averages five visits therefore the patient will spend one thousand dollars with me everybody following so far everybody following my math so if I need 10 new patients, which I do, if I want to make, and look at this, right? I only need 10 new patients every single month to make $120,000 a year. You're that close. And for some of you, you're probably already getting two or three. So you only need another six or seven, eight, whatever it will be, right? And if we charge more money and they had more visits with you, you actually need even less patients. For some of you, it'll probably be four or five patients a month to make 120 grand a year. If the current conversion ratio is one in three, how many leads do you need? Well, you need 30. Because obviously if I need 10 patients to spend $1,000 a month um, uh, to make 10 grand a month, well, that's how I'm going to make 120. So therefore, I need 30 leads a month. I want you to consider how many leads you're currently getting, how many people are currently calling, how many people are currently making an inquiry, sending an email, just getting in touch. Let's say, let's say round numbers 10 a month currently happening. Well, the gap is 20 leads a month. All you've got to do is go and find 20 people who are relatively interested, who fit your target audience, who resonate with the message that you put out there and ask them to get in touch. If we can get 20, if, they, if you're already getting 10, all we need is another 20. It's five a week. You could get five a week off Facebook. You could get 10 a week off Google AdWords right now. I've got clients doing Google AdWords, 20, 30, 40 patients, never mind inquiries, patients a month coming in off Google AdWords right now. It's that effective. This is, again, how close. This is the thinking that needs to go on where you can't just say, I need more patients. You can't just say, I want more money or I need more patients. You've got to break it down like this. Have a clear target on the wall that says, if I want an extra, even if you're making half a million right now, this is how to make an additional 120K. If you're making 100K right now, this is how to get to 220. We want 10 grand a month. Fees per session at $200. If you're thinking, well, I can't charge 200. Well, I know you can't charge 200 because you've got no marketing. That's why. Oh, I can't convert my leads. I know you can't convert your leads because you have no conversion system. It's all cause and effect. It's all cause and effect. You can sit there and whinge and whine and moan and say, this doesn't work and yada, yada. This does work. You're not doing it is the difference. If you haven't got a compelling marketing message and you don't have a clear understanding of who you want to work with and what their real internal problems are and you don't have a follow-up system, you'll never make more money. And I'll, and I'll look every one of you in the eye when I say it. You will never make more money. Well, you will. No, you will. But you'll end up working 90 hours a week. You'll, you'll finish your, your PT shift and you'll go work in an Uber. You'll, you'll, that's, you can make more money. That's not that difficult to make more money. Go work at McDonald's when you finish through the day. You can make more money. The, the difference here we're talking about is how you make your money. How do you make your money? And that's what the plan needs to look like. So this is the budget to make an additional 120,000. Everybody follow along. Just type into the chat. Am I still, am I making sense so far? Give me a little idea as to where you're at with your, uh, your, your thinking now. I'm, I'm challenging your thinking at first. I'm helping you see the bigger picture of these things that it isn't just about. I need more new patients. I can't let you believe that. You want to believe that. Come on, everybody type into the chat, please. Let's play along. Let me know where you're at. If you're on the webinar, play along. Patricia, this is great. Great, great, great. It's a framework. Exactly. It's a framework for solving problems. These are diagnostic tools. We're not just basically saying, I need more patients. I can't let you believe that this is just about you hustling any harder. It's about you thinking and acting very, very differently. We now know exactly what we're looking for. If I know I need 20 leads, when it comes to show you all the ads, which I'm about to in a minute, you can start to say, well, I could get five from that ad. I could get five from that ad and I could get five from that ad and five from that ad. And I know how much I need to spend, which might be $1,000 across them all, but that's okay because if I spend $1,000 and I get $10,000 back, I'm very, very happy with that. It might be that you only need to spend $500 on some of these things. Facebook alone, Google alone, most of the clients that we work with, we just say, hey, as long as you're willing to spend $600 a month, we're very confident to get you 15 to 20 phone calls. It's that close. You're that close. If you want $220,000, well, you change the numbers on here. 
but we have to know exactly what you want. Above to you exactly, when you put it this way, it does look easier. How much more attainable right now does that look for most of you? Rather than thinking, oh shit, I need a hundred grand. I need to pay my bills. I need money for the kids' school education. I need to find eight grand a month. This is what we do. This is how we think. This is why we have so many successful clients because we help you to see it very, very differently. Genuine frameworks, not rah, rah shit of just work harder, harder, harder. You don't need to hustle anymore, some of you. You need to actually stop fucking hustling and start thinking and start going into work and creating a plan on a Monday morning that says, we're going to have a gap of 17 patients by the end of the month. Where can we get 17 patients from? How does Facebook look? How do our Google ads look? How do our newspaper ads look? Oh, we haven't got any. Oh, well, could that be the reason that every fucking month was short every fucking month? Like, no shit, Sherlock. This is not that difficult. The difficulty is, is in you getting focused and having a plan and a path to follow, which I know, know, from five years of doing this, that if you follow it, you'll, you'll, you'll might not get 120, but you'll get very, very close. Or if you, your plan is 550, you get fucking closer than you will if you just sit there and go, oh, I need more money. Or I need to work harder. You don't. I, I, need, I don't need to listen to any more podcasts. You don't need to listen to any more podcasts. You need to execute the plan. That's what will get you rich. Big, big, big difference. So now you know how many leads you need. Next, you need to go and get them. Next, you need to go and get them. So this is where the fifth and most vital part of the plan comes in. This is the marketing system. The marketing system that does the job of getting the volume of leads and patients for you. So without the system, you've essentially got the route to Oz. You've got the map. You've got the, the, the treasure map, but no keys to open the chest. So we can't leave it at the plan. So you do need now to add on some hustle and some work and some doing things, but not till you've created the plan. The plan always must come first. So the plan tells you what you need and the system goes and gets it for you if that's what you, you, know, you want it to do. There's many of you on this webinar now, so let me give you an example. There's many of you on this webinar where you've opted in from a Facebook ad to a web page, got the emails and showed up and we haven't done anything for weeks. I was in bed when some of you registered for this webinar. Right? That, that's, that's automation. Right? That's a system. That's the, the, the like legitimate system. That's what we all want. Right now as I speak to you, Hundreds of people are getting emails, phone calls, and letters sent to them from my office. People are opting in on Facebook ads, finding me on Google. I'm sat 3,500 miles away. I created most of the stuff five years ago. It was the only way I could get across here. I had to have a system in play that, by and large, 80% of it runs automated. And that's what ultimately so many people are, are on here for. I'm, I'm aware of that. So the fifth thing that you need is a marketing system. Have you got the system to execute the plan? So think of marketing system as how you will get there. We know you want 120 grand additional profit. How are you going to get there? So the plan acts as the roadmap. The system is the vehicle, essentially. The system can fuel and accelerate your growth. And in conjunction with the right plan, it's much easier to be successful and achieve your financial goals. To be successful, you will need both. So you ready to look at the system? Everybody have a, a good drink. I'm going to put this down because it's starting to get a little uh, hot right now here in... Uh Florida, that sunshine just gets a little strong occasionally here in, uh, here in Orlando. Um, how's life back in Britain uh, right now? Uh, three parts to your system. So we need three, okay? Everybody want to carry on? Everybody happy so far? Good. Type into the chat. Come on. If you haven't typed into the chat, just say hello. Please don't just sit there. You'll fall asleep if you just sit there. Type into the chat. Let me know if you want to keep going. Peter says, hello. Nice to hear from you, Peter. Hello, Gus. Nice to hear from you as well. Uh, yes, sir, says Michael. Thanks, PG. Keep going, keep going. Let's roll, we roll. Good, good, good. All right. Repetition helps me change my thinking. Lisa says, yes. All right. So these are the three parts to your system. All right. This is ultimately what we need. Uh, three parts to the system. An attraction system, a buy system, and a cash value system. These are the three parts that your marketing system must have. These are what I invented a few years ago. This was really what I brought to the physical therapy world. This whole concept of three systems, three parts. Before that, it was just advertising. Pre-Paul, pre-accelerator method, it was just advertise, sell, market your business, and so on. No, no, no. You need three parts to a system for it to work. And that was the exact plan that I wrote uh, six years ago now on a flight back from Chicago where I first got taught how to do this. And it was, uh, I called it new patient overload. 
emails, phone calls, uh, letters, uh, web forms, advertisements, the whole thing, right? It, it is mega. So it's gone, um, it's gone off now like a rocket for businesses all across the US. These are the three different uh, types of systems. The attraction system. The attraction system. It gets you the volume of leads that you need. It's a mean uh, of targeting and attracting your perfect patient that you identified in the plan. It's about using the media or platform that you identified in the plan and using different media to get your message in front of the person you identified in the same plan. You want to offer them something of value, right? Value, value, value. So any of you who are having problems with patients not wanting to pay or just putting the phone down the minute they hear you know, the, the, the cost, whether it's out of network cost, copay cost, or just the cash cost, it's because there's no value in advance. Does every, I, I don't think I can get this across. This is the most pivotal bit to understand about your business. Does everybody understand what I mean about this bit? And for some of you, you're not going to believe me when I tell you that, that the reason that they're saying no is not because, Eugene, it's different in, in Staten Island or Peter, it's different in California or Bafti, it's different up in New Jersey or New York, wherever that area is that you're from, right? It's not that. It's because there's no value before they call you, right? Look at many of the businesses that you buy from where you're spending significant sums of money. They've either marketed to you or you found them and you've got information from them fast. Everything that you buy that is of a reasonable value, and by the way, physical therapy is in that bracket now. If there is no information given fast, I won't buy from you. Nothing to do with money. As a patient, I'm not going to say, Babti, the reason I'm not buying from you is because you didn't give me enough information. You didn't give me any videos, you didn't give me any free reports, and I didn't find you any blogs or expert tip style columns on your website. I'm not gonna say that but that's the reality. You have no choice to accept it. You can bitch and whine and whinge and moan about the fact that people don't want to pay for the next 25 years of your life, should you wish to, or we can face up to the thing that we are in control of, we are in control of, of giving value. And value comes in the form of the most simplest thing on planet Earth, information. Information, Eugene. Who on planet Earth do you know that doesn't want information to make good decisions? Come on. What on earth is going through your head? Who on planet Earth does not want information to make a decision on a two grand fucking purchase called physical therapy? These people are spending so much fucking money now with you. We've got to get in the real world. They know jack shit about what we do. Nothing. Nothing. Eugene, they don't make impulsive buys. People make impulsive buys on things under $100. I make impulsive buys on candy for Harry. I make impulsive buys on super soakers for Tobias. I make impulsive buys at Disneyland this afternoon for a fucking Spider-Man t-shirt, right? That's $34.99. But I don't make impulsive buys on $2,000 fucking tickets. I don't make impulsive buys on $2,000 physical therapy that will take four weeks and take 10 sessions to fix. I need information. If I'm walking into Disneyland today and I'm thinking of doing a Disney cruise, am I signing up for one there and there? Or is what is the truth that will happen is there will be a nice little booth when I walk through the doors later on today. When I walk through the doors of Disney today, I will be multiple times sold on a timeshare, on a cruise, on various different things. But they're not asking me to hand over a two grand fucking check right there and then. They're basically saying, here, do you want a brochure? Here, would you like to come to an event? Here, can I get somebody to call you? Would you like to sign up for an information pack so that you can make a good decision on the next Disney cruise that you might like to spend money on? That's what you are doing. That's what every single person on planet Earth is doing. That's what I'm imploring you to put into your business because this is what they need. It is not insurance problems. It's not fucking out of network problems. It's a lack of information problems. And I'll never, ever, ever buy from you unless you fix that. People in my area would rather spend $1,000 on Gucci. Absolutely, Eugene. You've got to, Eugene, I'd love to get inside of your head and rip whatever's going on. There must be mental torture going on inside of your brain. Like every time I speak to you it's my town this my town that my town the other every fucking town wants to spend a thousand dollars on gucci damn fucking right where i'm from they want to spend a thousand dollars on gucci why because it's called a fucking gratifying purchase 
This is the point, Eugene, and this is the point everybody listening. They won't spend $1,000 on physical therapy because it doesn't fucking gratify them. Therefore, they will spend $1,000 on a Gucci watch. They will spend $1,000 on a fucking TV on Amazon. Absolutely, which is my point. They have got the money, Eugene. It's not a money issue. It's a, they think they can get a better deal and, and, and more fun and something better from somebody else for their $1,000. You have to change that. Here's what life looks like. Here's the equivalent of the Gucci feeling. They're not buying a Gucci watch. They're buying a fucking feeling. They're buying confidence. They're buying certainty in a Gucci watch. When they call you, how much certainty are they getting? What feeling are they getting from you? Probably other than a, well, this is the price. It's $150. Oh, well, um, um, oh, oh, sorry to have lost you. Oh, these fucking out-of-network clients, they never want to pay. Exactly. What's Gucci? What is fucking Gucci? A, a clothing maker, a watch maker, a bag maker, whatever it is. It's, it's irrelevant. Think Rolex, right? It's irrelevant. Think, though, more in terms of gratifying things. People will spend $1,000 on gratifying things. Physical therapy, and this has been my point for five years that I'm trying to get everybody to wake up to, we are not a gratifying product. We are not an urgent need product. We are bottom of the pile. And if the fucking lecturers at PT school actually got us to wake up to this, we'd all have very, very different egos. And instead of thinking that we have the most valuable skills on planet Earth, which we do, by the way, incredibly valuable skills, here's the big problem, the massive problem, the people who we need to pay us don't see it that way. That's my job marketing. That's what we get paid for. That's the difference between a business owner that makes a shitload of money with okay skills, even decent skills, then the business owner who struggles for 30 years with the best skills. Fact. The, the faster that we face up to this, the quicker that these problems will go away. This is true understanding, Eugene. Mastery of how people live, how people buy, what they buy, they're not buying physical therapy. They're buying an outcome. They're not buying a fucking watch from Gucci for $1,000. They're bored. They need some gratification. They're having a midlife crisis. They've had a shit week at work. Their kids are badly behaved. They'll go online and spend $1,000 to make themselves feel better for the one hour that the hit lasts. And then they'll fucking do it again next week. That's how people get into debt. That's why people have miserable, bored lives by the time they get to a certain age because they don't understand what they're buying. I'm trying to help every single one of the 500 people on this webinar understand facts. Facts of how a human being buys what they buy, reverse engineer it so that we can have more successful businesses. It starts with information to help me understand what the fuck I am buying. And if you want $1,500 from me, you want $2,000 from me, I will give it to you. But not if I don't understand what I'm getting. If I don't understand what is waiting for me at the rainbow, the, the, the end of the rainbow, the other side, I will not give you the money. And you will always be blaming Staten Island. You'll always be blaming Phoenix, Scottsdale, Hartlepool, Newcastle, Denver, wherever the fuck you're listening to this thing. The same bullshit is going on in your head as every, 500 per, every one of the 500 people on this webinar right now. You have no choice but to make a shift towards information first in your business or it will be painful. And we'll, you'll be back on this webinar in five years going, oh, Staten Island, oh, Phoenix. It's getting worse here in Phoenix. This doesn't, this doesn't work in Orlando. This fucking thing, oh, this recession. It's the most fucking prosperous time on planet Earth for the last hundred years. People have got more money right now than ever before. They're spending it more than ever before. We're, we're getting close to another fucking tip. Be ready for it. Free reports look like this. The tips report. Tips report serves as a bridge from skepticism and fear. Rule 101 of business. How do I take you, Mr. Skeptical? Right now, Eugene, Mr. Skeptical about everything. Literally, right? And every, that's where we are. That's how we all are born, by the way. Skeptical about everything. What's the difference between being skeptical and certain? You bet. Information. Information that helps me understand what it is I'm getting into. That if you want my $2,000, help me understand it. A bridge is free information in the form of free reports, videos. No coincidence, some of you are on here. How many people right now are on here? You've been watching videos of me on YouTube. 
you've listened to my podcasts, I'm giving you information. Uh, why do I write books? It's a gateway to buying my products and services. I have to give you information in advance of sales. That's the way it works. I have to do it in this business. I have to do it in my physio business. I have to do it in any business that I want to set up in the future. Videos are another way about solving problems. Blogs, having them all over your website, solving specific problems of the person that you want to do business with. Newspaper ads, they are still, still, pound for pound, one of the best ways of getting new patients. This is what our clients are doing right now. These are some of the best marketing campaigns that we've seen this year. Whether it's happening in uh, in, in um, North Carolina, whether it's happening over in uh, Detroit area, whether it's happening in Washington, San Diego, newspaper ads still position you as an expert, and they bring in a trickle of five, six, seven calls every week. Every week, run two ads a month. There's 15 of your leads. Most importantly, you're positioned as an expert. That's where the pricing conversation starts to become irrelevant. Expert tips articles give people information. Run an ad and just write five things to do to, to ease your back pain. Stick it in your local newspaper. You can't tell me of 15,000 people reading a newspaper. I love this comment. Oh, but nobody reads the newspapers anymore. Really? Not what? Nobody? Not one person? Oh, well, newspapers have gone down. Yeah, yeah, I agree with that. Uh, 10 years ago, there was 40,000 people. Now there's only 15,000 people. Well, guess what, Sherlock? I don't need 15,000 fucking people. I need five. If I can't get five people out of 15,000, I'm putting a gun to my head and ending it right now. Like, that's the reality. I don't need 40,000 people. I only need five. And I can get that from a newspaper ad. But guess what? Here's the best news. Because there isn't 40,000 people reading the newspaper anymore. Guess what? It isn't as expensive anymore. It would have cost me two grand to put an ad in for 40,000 people, which as a small business, I might not have been able to afford. But because now advertising costs in newspaper is a third of what it was 10 years ago, I can get my ad run for three, four, five hundred dollars. Oh, there's always a yin and a yang if you choose to see it and not get caught up in the dogmatic way of thinking or lack of thinking that most people exert these days. So we found the combination of these types of articles where we give away free tips, but also at the same time offer information and somebody to call the office and get works very, very well. Double response. If you can position yourself as an expert and then offer free information for people to come and get from you, bingo, there's the magic. So strategy on Facebook the clients are using. Some of my ads right now look like this. So the educational video goes out first. We build trust. Anybody who watches the video, we retarget to them and we offer them a free information report on back pain. Significantly lowers the cost. I can get a video watched probably for 10 cents, 20 cents equivalent, and it means I can get an opt-in on Facebook for probably 5 or $6 equivalent, right? You try running a Facebook ad right now, people are, are struggling because they're literally just whacking up a, hey, book an appointment style ad that nobody wants. I can pick up leads on Facebook for probably 6 $7 with this strategy, and I've been running it for five, six, seven years. People who do the Accelerator program with me, I'll show you my first ad from 2013. In fact, it might even be 2012, August 2012, I think it was, when the Facebook platform very first opened for ads. I've got the original ad that I run six years ago. I've gone on to spend over hundreds of thousands of dollars on Facebook because it works. It works. Right now, the sweet spot is about five or $600 a month, and that's all I ever ask any of our clients to spend. $15 a day, $20 a day max, you get a good return of, of 10 to 15 leads from Facebook every single month. Quizzes work brilliantly well. We invented this thing. Uh, the low back injury severity assessment, and we get people to answer 10 questions on, on Facebook. Uh, you ain't answering a quiz on Facebook about back pain if you haven't got Facebook. We get somebody's telephone number, engage with us on the quiz, and we give them a call 24 hours later and say, hey, here's the results of your, your survey. This is what we think we can do to help you. So Facebook, um, a lot of people wanted to know, well, how do you make you know Facebook work these days? Well, here it is. This is what we do for clients. Um, different types of videos, different calls to action, whether it is uh, an educational video, whether it's click to take the quiz, whether it's send us a message on Facebook, which we're seeing more and more people do now. Uh, we're moving a lot of our clients towards send a message through Facebook and have a chat there, which makes it much easier uh, to get in touch with people. Uh, fill out a form, click a link below, take a free guide. Many, many different ways to make it work. If you've tried Facebook, you'll know it can be frustrating. Significant changes uh, at Facebook make it very difficult for you to get your ads to even run these days, never mind anything else. We have an agency now and we spend, I, I want to say, 40, 50 grand a month on Facebook for all of our clients. We have a direct link to Facebook, which gives us 
dare I say it, a, a, a slight advantage because all of our ads get run under one big uh, well-known account. Paul Goff Media has a direct line with Facebook. We've got our own uh, line to them. We have our own rep there. We can pick up the phone if ads don't get uh, accepted and so on, and we, you know, we get accounts to run. That, that is a big problem for many of the smaller businesses is that Facebook just don't want to run your ad, and that's a huge, huge issue. But if you can get them to make it work for you, um, it's, it's massive. The issue is that they've reached capacity. So they literally just, they, they don't need that much more advertising now and they're just Darwinian, they just whack ads they don't like um, and they only stay with the ad companies or the ad providers that they, you know, that they trust. These are the types of ads that we're running and, and we're seeing over the last, certainly this year in 2019, the rise of the video, the quiz um, and the blog. All of those things are working very, very well. But the strategy that we use now is Google Ads plus Facebook. And I'm going to share with you a little bit on that uh, in a moment. Uh, that's Nick over in Australia. We've got Luke there in Washington. And that's a remarketing ad that you can see there for, um, for, for Luke. And a remarketing ad basically means that somebody searched for Luke on his website or, or searched for Luke on Google. What they'll then see on Facebook within five minutes is his ad basically saying, hey, uh, click here for an inquiry about how to start physical therapy uh, with us. So these, these are the ads that are right now working for, uh, for clients. These are some, uh, literally, I asked yesterday for the most up-to-date ads that we're running for clients, uh, whether it's Jake down in Florida, uh, we've got Jason there in Texas, and we've got Level 4 PT ads running over in San Diego. Different uh, videos, different messages. Uh, you can see things going on there. Um, send us a message to get your free back pain report. Uh, all around information. Information first. It's, it's working like crazy all across the planet right now for our clients on Facebook. And, and when we add in the remarketing uh, from Google, boom, magic uh, magic happens. The very fact that you then get positioned as a celebrity, uh, less, less, less problems when it comes to, um, when it comes to the, the, the money conversation, uh, Google AdWords, one word, breathtaking, breathtaking results. Uh, I don't think I've ever seen anything quite like Google in the last uh, three to six months in terms of any impact from any platform consistently, uh, for clients all over the world. Sometimes I'm like, well, we'll start newspaper ads and we'll see how it goes. But with Google ads, we know now uh, artificial intelligence is the big change. And Google has got laser, laser sharp uh, with their platform now and, and their ability to get in front of people who are really, really looking for what you have got. It's now the number one. When I used to do this webinar in the past, it was Facebook for a while. Google has gone way past Facebook for us in terms of what we're seeing for our most successful clients right now. Uh, the number one source of referrals for almost all of the most successful clinic owners that we are working with. So here's some examples, some ad examples of different clinics. I'm just gonna share with you uh, five or six there. We can run ads for chronic knee pain. Uh, we can run ads for a stenosis. We can run ads for discovery visits. Um, and we see um, different web pages you know, respond differently, but so on and so forth. But really, um, if somebody's searching for physical therapy or types in chronic knee pain, what to do about it, uh, PT now it comes up first. Chronic or nagging knee pain, Volk physical therapy. So if you're looking for physical therapy in Concord, uh, you're going to see that ad uh, or at the number one, at the top of Google now. It gets uh, the, the user, if you like, onto the uh, web page and very, very likely to fill out the form for the three uh, for the 30-minute discovery visit. Why wouldn't they? That's what they've searched for and that's what they've clicked on. So Google AdWords is the express route for me now to, to, you know, for any of the clients that we start working with, just assuming that your website's up to scratch and I'll show you how to do that as well next. Google AdWords is the express route to getting more phone calls. Um, it's the end of free listings. That's the only downside uh, to Google Ads. And what that means is if you're uh, relying upon the free business listing that was kind of piddled around a few years ago, everything free is, is by the end a complete waste of time when it comes to marketing. Uh, because the, the, the big companies, Facebook, why did they ban all of the newsfeed stuff? Because everyone was just posting free shit. They're a company. They want to make money. Figure out how to do it at, at a cost uh, that's cost effective for you. So there's an ad, and this was probably three years ago when we did it for Canyon Physical Therapy, um, getting uh, them to number one. What it does is it pushes all the free people down. So um, it, it really is the end of the free listings for, for many people. And you know, if you've been relying upon that, you'll, you'll see that drop down. So Google AdWords is the, the place that we're pushing a lot, of our, um, a lot of our clients now. The opportunity for you to get to the first one, two, and three um, on, on Google uh, is phenomenal. Um, now is the time to get there. Um, so website, let's take a look at some things happening on our clients' websites. They are the vital part of the attraction system. Uh, the purpose of a website is to begin a relationship by providing information 
Uh, the recent changes have rendered most websites completely redundant. Um, we had a situation with a client very recently uh, where this happened, um, that their website had issues with certain things and it literally dropped off the face of the earth. It needed to be uh, Google compliant, if you like, uh, what, what I call search to task completion friendly. Um, if you don't have that going on your website, you will have problems. Uh, most websites have a conversion ratio of about 1% uh, when it could be as high as around about 15 to 20 if it's designed with engagement or information first. There's those words again. Information first is, is the key. Not book an appointment first, information first. Website success really, in a nutshell, comes down to this. So any of the clients that come to me about websites, they either go out to Fleming or they go to Christine with the specific instruction of build them a website with search to task completion in mind. If you don't have search to task completion in mind on your website, not, nothing's happening. Absolutely nothing's happening. It means that Google is now looking for signs that somebody engaged with your site. Did they take action on your site? Did they watch a video? Did they scroll a blog post? Did they opt in for a free report? Did they fill out a form? Did they share or like a blog post? If they don't, expect not to be anywhere near the top or even on page one in the next 12 months. It, it will be painful for you. So that's your attraction system. Um, to sum that up, right now, if you asked me, I'd say Google, then I'd say Facebook, and then I'd start looking at things like newspapers and postcards underneath that. But Google AdWords and Facebook together, collectively, magic is happening right now for um, many, many, many of our clients. The next thing you need is the nurture system, right? Which is this phase here. The, the, the nurture system uh, is ultimately, again, what I believe separates good businesses uh, from world-class businesses, average businesses from, from very good businesses. It's an automated system that allows you to educate people on what you do until the point they want to book. Once the leads have got in touch, your aim is to provide the patient with educational information to help them make a better, more educated, and more informed decision. You could provide them with things like direct mail, email, or phone calls. You could put any of these things into your follow-up system. Um, we design these things, newsletters that you can send out to patients. We've got postcards to send to patients. Um, and that's a, a sneak look at an Infusionsoft account of mine um, with all of the emails that we send. That's kind of how it looks. You know, Each one of those little things there uh, is an email got content inside of it and it goes out to patients um, we put at least uh, and recommend to all of our top clients 30 to 45 days of, of information following the first contact so if a patient says oh, i'm not quite ready or I, I don't want to book that's fine no problem we just put you into a follow-up system of emails we send out a couple of these newsletters that are pre pre-written uh, and maybe one or two postcards as well uh, phone is mega um more important than, than ever is the phone uh, the follow-up that you have in that nurture system, here's a couple of questions. Literally start with this. If you do nothing uh, other than this this week and you follow up with somebody who said no to you with these two questions, you will have a significant increase in the number of people who buy from you. Ask them this. Don't ring up and say, do you want to book physical therapy? Ring up and say, are you still worried about and insert the blank? If I've called you and I said no, you should have at least understood what I was worried about. Why was I calling you in the first place? Because it wasn't physical therapy. Significantly different than that. I wanted to be able to play golf. I was worried about my back problem getting in the way of golf. So if you ring me and say, are you still worried about that back problem getting in the way of golf? Only one of two things can happen. A, I say, no, I'm not. And I thank you for the phone call, at which point you ask them for a referral or to call you back if they ever need you in the future. Or B, they tell you that they are still worried about it and it opens up a conversation with them about how you can help them. And the second question you can ask them, what other options are you considering? What other options? You've called me. Is there anybody else you're considering? Well, I'm, I'm considering taking pills or going back to the doctors. Well, what do you want to do that? You've already been to the doctors and you've already tried pills. Would it not be worth at least uh, trying a 30 minute free visit in my office and I'll show you exactly how I can help you, what it's going to cost, I'll tell you exactly um, what we can do together, what you'll need to do at home, what I can do in my clinic, and so on and so forth. Significantly more likely to get a favorable outcome if I understand what other options that person is considering. So this system produces what we call trust mature. This is the problem. Any one of you right now that's getting pushback from patients, it's because there's no trust. Bottom line, accept it. Write it down. Trust matured. If somebody doesn't want to buy from you right now, it's because there is no trust. No matter what you say, they don't believe that they're going to get the outcome. 
when you have a nurture system, you develop trust matured. It's called development of prospects, development of customers. My mentor, Dan Kennedy, taught me this years ago. It's called development or customer development. Little understood, little applied. Nobody wants to face up to it. But the reality is that I can develop customers. The reason I put out a daily fucking podcast is that because it speeds up the development of my, of my clients. It's, it takes people from random podcast listeners on a treadmill one Tuesday morning to very quickly wanting to enroll in programs or join my consultancy classes. That's trust matured. I share with them stories of my life. I tell them all about what I'm doing, my trials, my troubles, my tribulations, things that I'm learning, things that I'm seeing, things that pisses me off. I'm a real guy. I'm normal. I'm a human being with kids with shit going on in my life just as much as anybody else, but still managing to build successful businesses. I'm developing trust maturity in my clients through that podcast, through this webinar, through my books. It's happening to all of you right now. That's trust maturity. I feel like I know this guy. I can trust him. I understand him. He's just like me and so on and so forth. That's trust. Ask yourself, where is that in your business? Where? Where is trust maturity in your business? Or are you going to do what all of the other broke practitioners do? Rely upon a few fucking qualifications after your name, which mean nothing anymore. Nothing. Everyone's a doctor of something these days. I was watching Shark Tank last night. Every fucking one that came on. Oh, my name's Dr. So-and-so. What are you actually a doctor in? Well, I'm a PhD in this. All right. Not a real doctor? Not, 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 no, no. More confusion. We can't rely upon those things. We don't need letters after our name to have trust. But ultimately, what people want is trust. And the difference between trust and not trusting is usually information and time. Time and information. Where in your business is it? If it isn't, remember this British accent in the next two or three years when your business has not changed. I'm going to say it again. Where is the trust maturity process in your business? The follow-up system, the nurture system, where is it? Remember, write this down. Remember this British accent in three years when nothing has changed in your business. And sadly for some of you, the pain will have to get worse before you believe me that this is the truth. Nothing will change for some of you for two or three years, only the pain and the frustration that will force you then to consider that this British accent might actually have something right going on here. Trust maturity is why people do not buy from you. No price, not out of network, not fucking economical conditions. Trust or a lack of it. And if you ain't got a system in your business for it, it will be a world of hurt for your business until you realize that you need it. Don't say, I didn't pass on the warning. If you take nothing else from this webinar, you need a trust maturity system, a nurture system in that business. There's one more system that you need. It's called a cash value system. This is where you make your money. This is where you get the, the, the big profits at the other end. You want the absolute value for your clinic from every single person that comes through the door. If you're going to spend money on marketing, having this system ensures that you get maximum value for your ad spend. There's three ways to do it. One, automate the process of asking for referrals. Two, automate the reactivation of past patients. And number three, find as many ways as possible to resell to that same patient for the remainder of their life. How many people on this webinar, I wonder, 500 of you even are considering this type of thing? And you might say, oh, we, we ask for referrals. Really? If I came into your office, would it be systematic or would it be sporadic? Would it be absolutely nailed down at the same time, every point in the day you ask for my referral? Is it that I receive a letter, a set of emails, a phone call asking for my referral? I tell you now, unless you automate it, it don't get done. Reactivation of past patients. We get lo I, I love hearing this one from business owners. We get lots of our past patients coming back. I'm like, oh, tell me about the process you used to bring them back. Oh, well, we just wait till the call. We do such a good job. We're so good with our customer service. We just wait for them to call back. No, no, no. You mean you're lazy as shit and you haven't put a system in play to make this automatic so that they come back more routinely. Because that's the real. It's the same when people tell, oh, we don't need to market our business. I love this one from business owners. They're always broke, by the way, and bitching and whining and, and, and whinging about their business. Love this one. We don't need to have uh, marketing. No, we don't need marketing. We just rely upon word of mouth. Have done for 25 years. Uh, and I, how, How's that business working out for you? Well, it could be better. 
No shit, Sherlock. Could it be that you need a marketing system that actually brings more people through the front door? And if your word of mouth is that good, why not spend a little bit of money on marketing so more people know who you are to get more word of mouth? Heaven forbid. Heaven forbid that that might be what we commit to in business to actually, you know, instead of passively waiting for somebody to talk about me, I actually promote this thing. I actually spend a few thousand dollars to make this thing go off like a rocket and in doing so get $10,000 back. Who knew? Or is it as typical, the usual bullshit that people come out with, complete and utter crap? The reality is that they just don't want to have to face up to marketing because they think it's beneath them. It's degrading. Their PT lecturer told them that you shouldn't have to market and what other bullshit that goes, goes on. Seriously, that's the norm out there right now. That's why so many people are struggling. Not because the conditions are unfavorable, because the thinking is dogmatic. The thinking is not even remotely what it needs to be for a business owner. And some of you I'm pissing off right now, and I know it, and I hope I am. I hope I'm pissing off a few of you enough to go, you know what, this might force a little bit of a change in me in the way that I think about this business because the possibility for your business is endless and it will be a crying shame for you not to make the most of it for a little bit of dogmatic thinking, following the crowd of the crappy PT business owners whinging about insurance companies and whatever other things that are out of their control. I can tell you now it's not insurance companies that your problem. Wherever you live, I'll know somebody who's making a shitload of money not worrying about insurance companies. That's how I know it's not insurance companies. It's not doctors because somebody in your town is making a shitload of money not needing a doctor. That's how I know it's not doctors. It's that you've relied upon doctors. You relied upon insurance companies. You thought that it was always going to pay you $200 reimbursements. Not the case anymore. There are so many ways to build this business. The question is, which one are you going to start with? There's three ways. Three ways to maximize value. Best time to ask for referrals within 72 hours of people booking an appointment. Not wait until the end. Do not wait till the end. Oh, but Paul, everybody waits till the end. I know, and most people are broke, so we won't follow them either. At this time, they are delighted. Here's why you will get more referrals after 72 hours. At this time, they are delighted to have made the decision and most likely want somebody else to feel as good as them. Or, have you ever thought about this one? Considered going through physical therapy with them. The best way to do this is by offering, guess what? Oh, information. Think about how many patients tell you that they'll recommend you versus how many of their friends actually arrive. Very low. Risky. It's risky for them to recommend. And by and large, they forget. And here's the other one that people don't even factor in in our naivety of building this business. What the hell do they say? Go and see Paul. Why, why should I go and see Paul? Paul's great. Paul got me to take my clothes off, got me to lie on the bed and stuck his elbow in my back. He stretched my leg into a position that's never, ever been before. It hurt like crazy. And then what he did, he twisted my leg around, got me to stretch to this position I've never even thought possible. It was very painful at the time. But you know what? After the three days of torture and the pain that I felt after his first session with me, it was really good. It was really beneficial to me. And the real best thing is, it cost me $200. That's how most people explain what you do. That's why they don't come. After all of that torture, the caveat is, and you have to pay for that. If I'm sat there on a cup of coffee with my friend and they've just told me that you've done all this shit to me, well, I ain't going there. You know, I'd rather go to the dentist. At least he sticks a needle in me and it's over. I don't feel anything for a few minutes after it. That sounds like hell for an hour. And you want me to pay $200 for it? It's why you've got to give them information. Reports, FAQs, videos, testimonials. Here's what the value really is. We do it like this. Polgoff.com or polgoffphysio.com forward slash friends. It's a web page where people can send their friends to and request information from us easily. Every month, five or 10 opt-ins from that on average leads to three or four or five patients every month just because of that simple web link through a patient for, for referrals. It's fabulous. I did that five, six years ago. Typical patient, let's say, let's say round numbers five a month. $1,000, 60 grand a year for the last five years. Quarter of a million dollars on that one web page in the last five years. One referral source. Took me a day. The people who follow that step and opt in for the free information, they then enter our nurture system. And the whole process starts again. It is explosive. If you do this, I promise you all, if you do this, even 10% of some of this, 
your, your, your business. It's not going to be exactly where you want it to be if you only do 10%, but you're going to be a hell of a lot better off than worrying about all of the, you know, chasing doctors and insurance companies and so on. So you need three systems. You cannot exist. Most people are just relying upon, you know, friends and family and all that stuff. And that's why they're in pain or they're relying upon a couple of doctors. That's why they're in pain. So it's totally up to you. That works. It's worked now for 600 plus clinic owners around the world. It certainly is working for me uh, and many, many clients across the world. So the three systems uh, that you need. And I can tell you from experience, this is what happens to patients. This is the impact that having these types of systems makes upon patients. I've been hearing about you from people I know for months. I've been reading or watching your stuff for months. I'd like to make an appointment. It seems everyone I know has something good to say about you. Will you take me on as well? It finally occurred to me that having read your article, you are the right place for me. Thanks for staying with me. I wonder if I can make that appointment. Those are words that come out of my patient's mouth. How many of you hear anything like that? Consistently. Or how many of you hear, uh, hello, I got your number off somebody. How much do you charge? Hello, uh, I stumbled across your website. Uh, I'd like some information. How much is it? Or hello, do you take my insurance? If you get in any version of that, even this one's bad. Uh, hello, uh, Dr. Smith sent me to you. Oh, you're, so you're only coming because Dr. Smith told you. Yeah, yeah, so you know nothing about me. No, nothing at all. All right, you're going to get a sticker shock when I tell you the price in a minute. This is the problem. So having these three systems in place at your practice will help you achieve the figure that you wrote down in the plan. Remember how all of this ties together. The plan tells you how many new leads you need, and it is the job of the system to get them for you. So you must have all three. One thing to consider, take this to bed tonight and sleep on it. There are only 7% of people that are actively confident and ready to book a PT now. If you chase doctors, you're in the 7% crowd. If you follow my marketing principles, it opens up the 93% of people who've got problems that you can solve who just don't know what to do. You can chase the 7% if you want, which is getting smaller and smaller and smaller as the pie goes because more people are chasing it. If you just be brave and you come across to the 93, even basic marketing messages resonate with people who want to spend money with you. Not that difficult. If all you ever do is run an advert that says, I'm a physical therapist, call today, nobody will respond. This type of marketing exposes you to 93%, 10 or 15 times more people who need what you've got. They just need some questions answering first. So here's the question. How much more profitable could your clinic be with this type of system in play? I wonder. I wonder. Let's find out. This is the magic. You ready? Take a deep breath. Get your pen and paper at hand. Let's see what this is really worth to you. And I'm going to show you all 500 how close you are now. This is the profitability potential formula that we, we give to clients. You ready? First up, let me have your agreement. Do you think that with this system, you could get just one more patient each week? Type into the chat yes or no. Do you think, let's, let's, be, let's be brutal. Do you think if you had that type of system, and, and, I'm, and I'm keeping it low on purpose because I don't want you accusing me of thinking, oh, this was rah-rah and Paul promised everybody the world and all that shit, which a lot of people do, right? I'm going to the absolute bottom line, right? The absolute basic of what we can get here. And I'm just going to show you what even getting one more patient would look like, right? One more patient. We've all agreed, or certainly a significant number of you are agreeing here that with that type of system, with the right marketing message, with the right follow-up system, and the right cash value system in play in your business, we could get one more patient a week. And by the way, if we can't, we all need to close the doors now, right? One more patient each week. If we get one new discovery visit a week, right? And, and all we're trying to do is get somebody down for a free visit with this system, right? That's 50. So follow along. Here's another framework that I give you earlier. It's very similar to the budget. If we get, this should, this should make your day, everybody on this call, this is how close you are. One new discovery visit each week. So that's a free consultation or free taster session. Increase your conversion ratio because of your marketing uh, message and your value and, and the perception of you to 80%. So we don't even have to convert everybody, right? There's the magic. We don't even need to say yes to everybody who gets in touch. If we can just get 40 new patients, which is less than one a week, which we agreed was possible. And the average spend is $750, which could be significantly more for many of you and should be, by the way, but I'll keep it close because I don't want you accusing me of anything, of exaggerating. We'll keep it at $750, which is below average, by the way. Let's just increase that by 20%. 
So we take that to $900, right? Everybody following, we're, we're basically saying with the right system in play, we should be able to get one new discovery visit a week. We don't need to convert them all to make it easier on ourselves. Some of them you won't want to work with and some of them won't be a good fit. So we'll narrow that down to 40. The average spend at most clinics right now is well less than 750, but we'll keep it there. If we just increase that by 20%, which you'll be able to do because of the positioning and the information and everything you're going to give people, $900. So what does that represent in revenue for you from just one new discovery visit per week? 40 times $900 is $36,000 profit. And, and, and that's, that's, that's the absolute bottom of the, rad, of the ladder. Two discovery visits a week, charge more money. Most of my clients are charging two and a half grand by the time that you know, they've had their 10 sessions or whatever, $250. Like it's astronomical as to what can be made. If you follow a proven plan, this will work for you. Wherever you are, whatever type of business, these are the nuts and bolts. If you label your business, oh, it's different in so-and-so, oh, my business is different, you will limit your option for growth. You will limit the potential that you have for growth, which is what most people do. Most people are beat before they've got out of bed. Life is shit before they've even woke up. Oh, my life this, oh, this, oh, my clinic this. It's not even fucking eight o'clock. Most people want to go back to bed. So one new discovery visit per week will add $36,000 to your revenue. Want some help to create a complete marketing system at your clinic to get that and more? I'm going to show you. So we can do this together inside six weeks. And um, my plan is to start the uh, accelerator program on the 30th of September. And we're going to add, we've added an additional module with some of the stuff that we've learned over the last couple of years so that we're finished by Christmas so that you can hit the ground running uh, in 2020. Um, accelerator is coming and we're starting a week on Monday. You know that you need to acquire new patients every month to survive. Education-based marketing strategy works. You want more uh, marketing systems. You know that the profit of poten uh, uh, profitability potential for your business is there. And you know that doing all of this on your own you're likely to hit roadblocks. That's what everybody tells us. That's why we created the program. It's one thing giving you the free information. It's hold my hand and make sure that I actually implement this into the business is ultimately what the program does. So we created um, the six-week new patient accelerator program plus one now. Uh, it's a seven-module program. Is the complete uh, blueprint to attract all of the new patients you need, transform your website in direct marketing, and increase your clinic's profit by 50 to 250% in the next 12 months. It shows you the complete step-by-step -step process for achieving your clinic's full profitability potential in the next 12 months. Uh, three focuses, growing your business by 50 to 250% without needing referrals from doctors, creating a complete marketing system in your clinic that will let you grow much more quickly and reliably and achieving your full profitability potential. It's for you. If you are not getting enough new patients, you have no marketing system, you have no predictable supply of new leads, you have started a practice without any marketing know-how, you want to grow your practice without needing referrals from doctors, this is for you. You want to get new patients fast, even if no one knows who you are right now, and you have no idea where to start with your direct to public marketing, this is absolutely for you. And if you are fed up to the back teeth of getting ignored or overlooked by doctors, you'll absolutely love it. You're in network, you want more cash pay, uh, you're about to leave a safe job to set up your own, uh, you want to give yourself the best shot of making an income quickly, uh, or you've just started a cash-based business, uh, this is absolutely uh, for you. So look, the price, you're going to get access to the complete system, like everything, all my emails, all my ads, like hundreds of them, like all the scripts, everything, all of the, the kind of systematic stuff that, that we do, we'll, we'll break it all down with you every week. You're going to get a one-on-one -on -one coach as well to help you implement this. So there's no excuses for not getting it done. Uh, it will be in your business within uh, seven weeks. You're going to get the complete system that has helped me grow my business, 250% uh, inside 12 months, hundreds of thousands of dollars to figure out. Any of you who know me, uh, know that I'm an avid learner, I invest in coaching, I understand the value of information, and it, it literally just shortcuts the process of having to figure it out all on your own. Anybody trying to figure it out on their own, I literally feel I, I should have followed them. I feel so sorry for them in that respect that they can't see how easy it is to shortcut the process of success. Other people have the information that you want. All that's at stake is will you actually do it. So you're going to get the exact blueprint that has already helped many of my private clients to have similar results in their business. Uh, these business owners pay me thousands to work with them privately. So the price, $5,000.
uh, the full value of the Accelerator Now 7 module uh, program is $5,000. Uh, $5,000. That's because any of the modules could and previously have been sold off separately for up to $1,000. But because you're on the webinar and because we're looking for genuine uh, learners, success hungry, uh, achievement oriented business owners, I appreciate that all of you on here, all 500 of you could have had uh, something better to do this afternoon, you know, on the face of it. Uh, you're the type of people that we want to work with. My teachings will go two or three hours long every week um, and there will be some commitment on your uh, heart, on your behalf to implement this stuff. We would like to work with you and we feel as though you would be a good fit for my uh, program and the ultimate success that we want to continue for this program. So you can make four easy payments uh, of just eight, nine, seven, save nearly fifteen hundred dollars, or save an additional uh, nearly two hundred dollars by making uh, just one payment of thirty-four hundred dollars. So thirty-four hundred dollars um, is the fee for the program. Four payments of eight, nine, seven, less than one patient a month, or, or just one patient uh, payment of three thousand four hundred dollars to join the next and final uh, accelerator live of 2019 the best part about this absolutely no risk you can sign up right now and there is no risk you will get two weeks to try the program and if you think by the end of module two that i've uh, let you down in any way that i have uh, missold the program i have oversold the program you think that i'm just full of shit and it was a bad mistake for you to enroll just email my office. Caitlin is here with me. She'll take care of it and just refund your payments without a single question asked. That's my promise to you. The next class starts a week on Monday, the 30th of September. All modules are uh, delivered live, recorded, and sent to you. You get access to a membership site, uh, and you'll get to uh, watch the replays and be part of my Facebook community uh, for seven weeks, delivered via uh, global video seminar, much like this, exactly like this. This is the pre-training. Uh, if you've enjoyed this type of, of atmosphere, you're going to love the Accelerator Live every single week. The momentum, the focus, uh, the routine, the discipline that you'll get from doing this live with me every week is unbelievable. Um, and that's what something uh, people tell us they love about it. This is the last time you will get to do it with me live this year. It's the last time you're going to get to do it with me live. We now restrict the number of people on the program. It's to just 35 business owners. We used to do 50. We now do 35 because we now give you one-on-one -on -one support. So we've added that benefit. We uh, haven't raised the price on it you know, this time for that. Due to the one-on-one -on -one support, we have to limit the number of people. You will get a weekly coaching call, implementation call. Uh, you'll get an accountability coach that works with you all the way through to make sure that you do this stuff. So there is no enrolling and not doing. There is enrolling and doing and benefiting. That's what we want. So we are limiting it to 35 business owners. Um, and that's because you will get one-on-one -on -one support from either Barry or Lisa in my office as you go through this program. 12 seats are already gone. Uh, Cash Club members, you know, my uh, fledgling marketing program, uh, 300 members in that. 12 seats have already been taken in the last few days. I know a couple of you are on this webinar who are already enrolled uh, or people who missed out last time we did it. Uh, are already in the program. So we've got 23 more seats. Um, we've got 500 of you who are currently still showing an interest in the program, which is, uh, which is nice. It's going to look like this. We'll all get together. Uh, we'll hang out every week. You'll love it. It's a uh, live PowerPoints, open Q&A, chat, business owners from all over the world. Uh, we'll put all of this stuff into context for you it's very focused it's very specific on your problem you'll get a chance to ask me questions you can come on live or you can just submit your question in the chat and i'll answer them uh, for you so the question i guess is are you going to be uh one of the ones who gets a seat on the program so here's the modules week number one essential marketing strategies uh, kicks off monday the 30th week number two uh, thursday the 10th profit boosting conversion strategies Friday the 18th is week three. This is a brand new, never taught before module. It's how to accelerate referrals using the information first strategy uh, that I brought to your attention today. I'll show you seven different ways to automate referrals using uh, information to accelerate referrals. Instead of leaving business cards and just knocking on doors, I'll show you what to do with the information that we will create in modules one and two to generate referrals. Low cost, no cost, 
don't even have to put money towards this to make this work. We're putting that in at module three. We'll get the referral process in play and then we'll move on to module four. We'll show you how to do things like newspapers and direct mail. Then the biggie, we'll do essential internet marketing for online profits, not to be missed. Brand new updates from Google, step-by-step -step video tutorials on that. Facebook advertising, all covered in how the two work together. Module five is the one, cannot be missed. Uh, week number six, Tuesday the 5th of November, uh, the website solution, we'll break it all down step-by-step. -step. Make sure that you've got everything you need on your website. I'll even bring in uh, what I believe to be uh, the foremost uh, authority on web development anywhere in the world for physical therapists on live um, and we even open up the opportunity for a free audit on your website not just to how it looks visually but how it's been built behind the scenes which we're finding is costing a lot of clinic owners money uh, because the right infrastructure behind the scenes actually forces google not to want to display that website and week number seven tuesday the 12th of november pricing for profits and the cash upsell process we'll talk to you all about how to do that Michael, the answer is yes. You get to keep the modules for life. You'll have access to the membership. You will be an accelerator student for the rest of your life. Uh, whenever there are updates, they will be put inside of the membership site. Every single one of my accelerator's lives is inside the membership site. Michael, you can binge Netflix style on every season of Accelerator since it began in 2015. All of the Q&As, every single thing that we've ever done for Accelerator, binge away on my marketing material till your heart's con tent uh module one and michael by the way don't forget i might just be able to give you uh one of these little babies i might not making any promises but i might just be able to give you the thing landing on your doorstep uh essential marketing strategies and windfalls uh, to immediately boost profits is about module one all of the most important things we cover in module one how to remove risk from your marketing so that you're not going to waste money. Uh, and the number one secret for marketing success. It's about the affluent, right? Wh whose life would be easier if you could just attract more of the affluent? Hands up. If you think you could just do business with affluent instead of tire kickers, your business might be a bit better. We all agree that it's much easier to get somebody to pay if they actually have money. But guess what the affluent want? Information. The rich are rich because they slow down their decisions and they need information to make good decisions. There is a direct correlation between being rich and making good decisions. To make good decisions, you need information. The affluent, marketing to affluence, is what I speak to you about in module one and how to do it. You get the free reports, so it's not just information. You'll actually get free report templates. You get what's called the empathy map to be able to basically map out uh, and get deep inside the mind of your uh, perfect patient. Uh, the perfect patient profiling template to help you figure out who your audience is, what exact words you're gonna have to use on the phone and in your marketing. Uh, so you'll get given these things, not just teaching. Uh, module number two, eight simple and mostly automated ways to convert inquiries into high paying patient what ask in the first three minutes of receiving an inquiry uh, that will almost guarantee the conversion takes place the simple rules for getting to yes on the phone and then getting every future appointment booked at the same time you'll also get all of the scripts the video walkthroughs outgoing call scripts and video walkthroughs and so on you'll get everything that you need pre-written follow-up emails copy and paste plug them into your autoresponder you don't need to use infusionsoft if you use active campaign or mailchimp or any of those things these emails will all work inside of that and you'll also get a sample of pre-written postcards and newsletters all you got to do take my picture off put yours on put your clinic name on instead of mine uh and so on and so forth uh you'll get in module three i'll break down exactly uh, what the old school marketing mastery stuff is. The wealthy and the affluent, the patients, how to get to them within a five mile radius of your clinic. You will get exactly uh, insight knowledge, if you like, on how to target people who earn $150,000 or more. And I'll show you exactly where they live and how to reach them. It is unbelievable. It's the, it's the, this is, I, I go live onto a, uh, onto a website, if you like, where we'll show you exactly how to find, I'll show you how to find 300 people who live within a five mile radius of your clinic who are earning $150,000 or more, and I'll show you how to mail them for less than $300. There you go. How to use USPS to mail your clinic's promotional material only to these people, and how to write postcards and newspaper ads to copy from uh, so that you can position yourself as an authority 
in your area. Quick question from Roberto. Are these systems need an automated component or are you referring to existing systems that we need to buy? So Roberto, good question. I give you all the material to put inside of a system. You can then choose to use something like Infusion. You can use something like Aweber or ActiveCampaign or MailChimp or any of these things. Completely up to you. Completely up to you, whatever you want to use. It starts from $20 a month up to $100 a month. But I give you the material to put in a system, figuratively. That's the difference. Um, so the acceleration of referrals uh, module, how to get referrals using the information first strategy our clients are using that makes it easier for people to refer to you. So information first is the gateway. Uh, how to get new patients without spending money on marketing. Referral competitions that bring in 10 plus new patients every single month. What to give patients and even family and friends to make it easier for them to refer you. Uh, nothing whatsoever to do with business cards. I will not be teaching you how to write a business card and give it out. I'm going to show you how to use information and referral competitions that involve things like employee wellness of the month and how to get more patients coming to you from your current patients who have friends at work who may or may not need your treatment, family referral uh, strategies, friend referral strategies, and so on and so forth. We're going to talk through all of this uh, on that new module. Um, we're going to talk through marketing mastery of direct uh, mail, referral flyers, newspaper advertising. You'll get all of my best ads to copy from. You will get postcards. You'll get newspaper ads. You'll get all of this stuff uh, coming to you as well. So they are downloads. You'll get them. You'll print them out. You can either copy from them and you know create your own, that type of thing. All copyright free. Pinch the headlines. Pinch the, the, the words, the whole thing. Everything I give you uh, legally uh, is yours to use. Um, Referral flyers, you know, hand out things to hand out to patients to make it easy. You'll get all of the things that I use and, and many of the things that we've designed for clients now over the last five years. Uh, this is the biggie that everybody's interested in, Facebook advertising and Google, uh, how to use the two individually, but how when you bring them together, the magic really happens uh, with Google. Uh, and then ultimately what we call remarketing uh, on Facebook. Them two, boom, you've got you know less than $800 a month. You'll have a fabulous, even that alone for many of you will be your 15 or 20 patients that you're looking for. You'll get the ads, you'll get all the templates, you'll get everything you need, everything you've seen today, copyright free, and however many you know dozens more. Uh, the best performing Facebook ads, we literally wait until the week before of this module, we update the Facebook group, uh, sorry, update the, the membership site with the best ads that are working right now. Quizzes, videos, blogs, everything we're spending 50 grand a month right now on facebook for our clients across the world we show <laughs> literally we share with you what works uh and what doesn't you'll get the exact ads that are working module six basically how to create the most profitable website on the internet uh by uh literally ripping up probably some of the things that you've been told uh and making some very uh small but big in terms of impact changes to your website uh the home page is the biggie we'll show you how to build uh, the best homepage that captures information and makes it easy for you to follow up with. Um, and you'll be uh, able to ask questions of the best web designer on the planet, somebody uh, that I've worked with for over 10 years, built every aspect of every website I've ever got. It isn't just about how the website looks, as you'll hear. A lot about it is actually how it's designed behind the scenes to make it robust and appealing to Google. So we'll share with you those uh, things as well. And module number seven, basically, Whatever you're charging now, expect to add at least $50 for context uh, to it, you know, relevancy for wherever you are in the world. It, that's an average of, of what happens in module seven. We'll find out what you're all charging. Uh, my prediction is that some of you will up it by $100, $150. We've had clients who up their prices by as much as $250 since taking Accelerator. Um, that's what we're going to go through. Show you how to answer the phone, how to position your prices, uh, the importance of packages, the importance of um, of giving choices so that people feel empowered and how that allows you to raise your rates. Um, we'll do all of that in module number seven. So um, Accelerator is designed uh, to produce a measurable increase in the number of new patients for the entirety of your business, not just a sporadic influx that makes it difficult to be profitable. And it gets better. And it gets better. Here's what I'm going to do. You can make your investment back before Accelerator even starts. I'm going to give you this program for free. Uh, it's my seven quick fixes. So if you've already got marketing things happening, uh, go through this video, uh, seven modules. Uh, you can go through it in a couple of nights and you'll already start to make changes to the way you speak to patients and the way you attract them to your 
business. Uh, you will be able to, it focuses in on uh, cash paying patients, the caveat of this program, uh, really it tells you all about what cash pay are looking for and so on and so forth, uh, how to pick up uh, the phone to them uh, and ultimately get more of them to walk through your door. So you'll get that tonight. I'm also going to give you my new patients from Community Events Blueprint to CD program. You can download that instantly. Uh, if you're ever doing, you know, your kind of farmer's market, local community fair type things, all of this is going to be included in it for you uh, as well. Uh, free bonus number three, two months additional. So you'll come into the coaching program. Um, you'll come into the coaching program with us for two months, join my live Wednesday calls. Uh, and then at the end, you'll get an option to, to come as a guest, if you like, at one of my events and, and see if the joining, uh, you know, the, the, uh, the marketing, or sorry, the mastermind is right for you. But you'll get a couple of months of it every single Wednesday in the program. Uh, 997 a month for my program, you'll get it free for the next two months. Um, what else have I got for you? So here's the recap. You're going to get, who's excited? Who just thinks I'd shut up? Give me the link and let me sign up. That's that's kind of the vibe. I'm. <laughs> that's kind of the vibe. I wish this guy shut up. He's doing me head in now. Just give me the link and let me sign up for this fucking program and get this thing on. He, he doesn't need to, to keep selling it to me. I'm already in. Um, love it. All right. Um, so here's what you're getting. New patient accelerator training. You're going to get all seven modules. You're going to get the seven quick fixes program. You're going to get the new patients from community events program. Get us pass into mastermind for two months. And I'm going to give you this as well. Uh, unadvertised free bonus, instant access, six module program, double your profits per patient. I'll give you access to this as well, um, which uh, talks to you about how to do your consultations, how to uh, do your evaluations, the whole idea of authority marketing and uh, preeminence and those types of things and how to get them into your business as well. So it's about doubling the net worth. So if Accelerate is about getting more leads and more patients, this program is about how do you double the net worth of every patient you get. It's a thousand dollar program, sold it to well over a hundred people. Uh, you can have it for free if you enroll in this program, my only uh, catch is that you uh, enroll before midnight tonight. Uh, enroll before midnight tonight. Uh, be one of the first to do so, and we'll send you this. Uh, we'll send you this program for you. Plus, here's what I'm going to do. This is where it gets very, very fun. If if you were close, if you're close, just come a little closer to the microphone. Come a little close to your speakers. If you're close to enrolling and you're on the fence, you're teetering on and off, and you're thinking, you know what? I'm kind of in the kitchen right now and I'm, I'm listening to this guy and, and shall I shana or I'm, I'm kind of like screwing around on my phone and shall I shana enroll or do I really need this or should I just, you know, see how it goes for another year and all of this stuff's gone through your head and you're thinking, but I, I really want to do it. And, and I know this guy speaking the blunt truth. Um, I, I, I'm seeing people joys trembling. <laughs> definitely um, if you're there, if you're there, but, but you just need that little thing to get you over the line. Are you ready? Let's all take a collective deep breath, right? This is where it goes crazy and, and shit happens that, you know, my staff go mad because I give away too much now. And my team are going to have to do a lot of work for you and they're not really ready for it, but screw it. Let's have some fun. So everybody take a collective deep breath in all over the world. Are you ready? One, two, three. <sighs> right, let's just fill the lungs up. Send some oxygen to the brain. We can all make good decisions now. Yeah. <laughs> I like to have fun as well, by the way. We'll have some fun together for the next seven weeks. Um, if you enroll while I'm still on the webinar, here's what I'm going to do. We'll also set your first Facebook ads up for you or Google ads. Facebook or Google ads for you. So you can choose. We can do your Facebook ad setup or your Google ads set up for you as well. It would cost you $1,500 for us to do it if you just rang and asked us to do it. We'll set one of these Facebook ads up for you or we will set up a Google ad uh, for you. We'll set all of this stuff up for you. We'll get Liam, our Google ads wizard onto this. If you want the Facebook ads, Becca will do it for you. She's the Facebook expert. And if you want your Google ads set up, Liam in my office uh, does that for you. So we can get your, your campaigns all set up uh, and running for you. You can tell us, we'll go through the program together. And then as we get towards the end, you can tell us whether you want the Facebook stuff or you want the Google stuff. And uh, we'll get Liam or Becca setting it all up for you. We'll run your Facebook ads under our account to make sure that there are no problems. And we'll get your Facebook account set up for you so that uh, very quickly you get off to a good start with your Google ads and uh, you start getting some more calls very, very quickly. So 
as well as that, as well as your first Facebook or Google ads, I'm also going to give you 25 pre-written emails, 25 pre-written blogs, and I'm also going to give you my company's three-day annual planning document, right? So there's a whole host of shit coming your way, right? It's, it's like, it's, if, you, if you're a lover of business and you want a successful business, like me and you are kindred spirits, right? You should see my office. It's just packed full of this stuff. Emails, blogs. I've been writing articles for, new, for newspapers for seven years. I've been writing emails. I must have sent, I bet you I win the award for the most emails sent by any physical therapist on the planet anywhere, right? Every one of them is archived. I'll give you my best 25 pre-written emails to send to patients, 25 pre-written blogs. There's some social media for you. There's some stuff for your new website. And you know I'm a strategic thinker. That's what I do, and that's why I believe I have successful businesses. I do that through a lot of planning. Um, every year I sit down with my team and we do a three-day annual planning, and I'm going to give you the document. Every step-by-step uh, question I ask through the three days, all broken up into you know morning one, uh, day one, morning one, day one, morning two, all the exercises that I go through with the staff and ultimately how uh, we get to the point of creating an unbelievable uh, budget so that we know all know what we're doing. So I'm going to give you that as well. I've never sold that. I've never released it. I've only ever given it away free in a situation like this. I've had many people ask for it when they hear me do it on the podcast and I'll never, ever sell it. So I'll give it to you uh, if you say yes to the program today. The only catch caveat, if you like, uh, is that I'll uh, need you to enroll while I'm on this webinar if you want the Facebook and Google stuff setting up. Plus, I'm not finished. I'm not finished yet. So whatever's going on in your life right now, I've probably just given you a heart attack. There is more. Eugene, you are correct. I like to leave people thrilled, right? Thrilled. Are you ready? This is where it gets like very fun. Knock off the final payment, all right? Save an additional $600. If you enroll while I'm on this webinar in the next five minutes, you've probably got five minutes because I'm off to Disney World with the kids this afternoon, I promised them. They ain't been for a few months. Um, three payments of 997 or you can do it with one payment of 2850 Look, it's probably three patients for crying out loud. If, if your average patient is spending 900 or or $1,000 with you, and if they're not, you definitely need to enroll. It's less than three patients. Three patients to get your money back. This is a system that will rinse and repeat for the rest of your life. Uh, save an additional $550, $600, whatever it was. Um, enroll three payments of 997 if you've got a cash flow issue, or uh, if you want to save a bit more money and just get it all taken care of. Uh, 2850 is the price. So it means that you can enroll right now for 3997 or one times 2850. But the only thing is uh, you need to enroll while I'm on the webinar and Danny and Kimberly and Michael and everybody else who is asking about this. I'm going to give you, um, Sally, it'll definitely work in Britain. Listen to the accent. <laughs> It will. De- you'll be fine. Um, there's a link we can give you for uh, for the uh, British version of finding direct mail that you can still use. So yeah, no problem. So a recap. In total, all of the free bonuses you'll be getting for joining Accelerator are worth four and a half thousand dollars, and you're covered by my no risk, one hundred percent profitability guarantee. What to do next? Are you ready? This is where we're going to put the link. So this is what's going to happen. I'm going to put the link into the chat now. So please, one or two of you might need to call the bank uh, if you have any credit card issues when you try and sign up. Don't worry, it's perfectly normal. We can see it. I've got a team of people in Britain and a team of people in the UK. A lot of this stuff, a lot of this uh, now, you're going to get, what, 485 people are on the webinar, 484 are on this webinar. We get everybody going to the page. It sometimes crashes because there's that many go. Don't panic. Don't freak out. You can send an email to paul at paulgoff.com and my team are here to help. We have a telephone for you to call. What's the number, Caitlin? Caitlin, put the number in the chat for you. You can call if there's any problems. But I'd recommend if you do have any issues, uh, the bill will come from Paul Goff Media LLC. Talk to the bank and just tell them that you are trying to enroll and so on and so forth and let them clear it. We will honor anything if you try and enroll now um, and it doesn't work. We'll be here for a while. You can call us and you can talk to us. Um, So you get access to the program you get access to the program um if you head over to ptprofitacademy.com forward slash accelerator ptprofitacademy.com forward slash 
accelerator. Let's get you going uh, and move forward. Let's get you going. Uh, Joseph and anybody who's got questions, let's get them emailed in as fast as possible. Terry, 100%, I will pair you up with other OTs in the group. We have uh, some incredible OTs in our program. So you are absolutely welcome. We've got chiropractors, we've got uh, OTs. Anybody who's in that rehab field, you can obviously see the similarities uh, and we'll pair you up. I'll put you in touch with Wong, who's one of our top OTs uh, in the program and other OTs as well. So you are a uh, massage therapist, absolutely. Uh, again, I'll put you in touch with Michael Sudbury and a couple of the other massage therapists in our uh, group who've done this program. Who um, We've got doctors in the group. We've had chiropractors. I've had uh, medical doctors take the program. If I go to the link, will I be out of the webinar? No, Lisa, you will be fine. You're still in the webinar. Uh, so, Michael, yeah, you, you're sweet. You're good. Um, Eugene selling one of his kids off. Good trade. It's a good, it's a good trade off. Um, I, I think Eugene. <laughs> You'll get less asshole. I'll be cheaper. I'll be cheaper once you've bought it anyway. So there you go. You're gonna, you're gonna make money just from doing that. <laughs> Uh, choose your payment plan. Let's get you signed up for the program and let's get this taken care of. We'll get you in the group. It's the last one we're going to do this year. Uh, you'll love it. 35 of us will have a great time. We'll learn a lot. We'll implement a new system into your business. If you, if you want a good business, a solid business that grows and scales, you need a system. There's no other way to explain it. It's a complete system. To my knowledge, it's the most in-depth training. Every aspect of the system is covered. Every uh, thing you need from ads, one-on-one -on -one support. We also, by the way, are one of very few training companies online that gives you one-on-one -on -one support through the program. One-on-one -on -one support through the program to make sure you get this done. It's one of the things I realized uh, when I saw a lot of people starting to sell courses. One of the things that I realized was that a lot of people were buying courses, but a lot of people also didn't finish the course. So we uh, looked at uh, scaling our team. That's what we've been doing for the last few years to bring in coaches to help you implement. So we will drag you through this course, whether you like it or not. You will do this course. You will finish it. And if you do, we know you'll be successful. That's nearly always all that gets in the way uh, is that just people, if you sign up, uh, we'll make you do it. If you like, we'll make sure that you are held accountable all the way through uh, so that in seven weeks, life looks very, very different. There's going to be lots of nuances shared Michael, well done and congratulations. Jacqueline, uh, Long Island. I missed you last week, Jacqueline. Uh, Danny, good to see you. It's loading right now, uh, enrolling. So let's get you enrolled. Don't forget, um, Gus, good to see you. Um, you'll get your Google or Facebook thing, and I can only offer you that if you're on this webinar for the next few minutes when you sign, or if I'm on the webinar when you sign after that, uh, I've got um, you know, to close that offer down. Uh, what are the dates and times of each module? Just want to check for schedule conflicts. We can post all that for you. Um, don't forget as well, not everybody does attend live every session. Um, we know that that might not be possible with certain you know, staff or patients who want to see you. Everything comes out recorded, so you'll get the replay within 24 hours. And that's also another reason why we brought out the coaches uh, to make sure that you go through the replay in your own time and my coach will hold you accountable and answer any questions. You can ask me the next week. We always start every training with a recap of the last weeks. It's very methodical. It's very well thought out. You're following a genuine lesson plan. It all becomes clear each week that we do it. You know, last week's module impacts the next week and so on and so forth. Um, and we'll make sure that, that you never feel overwhelmed or overawed. It's, it's uh, a process that we've refined. It's the 10th season uh, that we've done this now and we've made improvements to the program every single time. Danny has just given us a yes. Uh, Michael, yeah, you'll get the replays and it's all inside of a, a lifelong access to membership site uh, forever. You are an accelerator student. Uh, from now till the end of time uh, you'll always have access to it no problem at all and obviously whenever I make updates uh, we let you know when there's updates made to certain modules you know further down the line so the past seasons we'll get the updates to Google and so on when we release them this time it's why I do it twice a year is because we know things have changed uh, in terms of Google or Facebook so we'll always be uh, you know always be doing that so that's uh, that's what's going on get your confirmation email uh, Jared, just send an email to uh, just send an email to Caitlin. She'll take care of you. Paul, I referred my partner to you. She's an LMT and has just signed up. Awesome, Michael. Thank you. Uh, you are the best. I'll um, chuck something in for you. In fact, how about I do this, Michael? I'll ship you one of these. I appreciate you. I'll send this off to you for free. The binder. Um, you're the best. 
Uh, get your confirmation email, open your seven quick fix bonus video program and start profiting right away. Then I'll instantly add you to the Facebook group and I'll notify you just before the class uh, and send you an email. Kimberly's in uh, with an email on how to access the live event seminar. Nice work, Kimberly. Uh, so you've watched the presentation. Um, accountability starts now. You bet. Uh, you know that you genuinely want to grow your business by 50 to 250%. It's new patient acquisition systems that will help you do this. And this course has already helped other PTs like you. There's nothing to, to, to fear with it. There's nothing to lose. If you're a new business, you need to do it. Uh, if you're a, a more experienced business, you probably needed to do it last time we brought it out. Uh, here's some uh, case studies. People like Kevin, uh, just a quick highlight. I had a third PT last week. Remember, he started from scratch with me. He did Accelerator. He watched this webinar. I think it was about two and a half years ago now. Uh, had our best single day of revenue, seven grand, best week of 20 grand. Kevin's on course. He's in my CEO mastermind program now uh, for a million dollar business from scratch in two and a half years. Uh, thanks so much for helping me reach my five year goal in two and a half years. Two and a half years. Incredible. Uh, highest charging accelerator students to level four PT. Uh, they've charged out their services many times for $450 uh, using Paul style uh, marketing. Paul style marketing all over the country, all over the world, Australia, Britain, Ireland, uh, Denmark. We've got clients. I've got clients uh, as far afield as um, uh, where are we? Definitely over in Australia. Uh, we're in New Zealand. We're in Brunei, a client over there in Brunei, Futon. Uh, he flew all the way to Dublin recently to attend an event. This stuff's going all over the world. It, it really is changing uh, practices. Most importantly, it's changing the way we speak to customers. It's changing the way we speak to patients. It's adding value up front, and it's just making life so much easier uh, for people. Danny, uh, great to see you. We're in Philly for the day, so she's been waiting. <laughs> Danny, I love it. You are right on my street, Danny. Me and you are kindred spirits. You, your wife should speak to Natalie. That's exactly what my, like, Natalie's life, like with me for the last few years, has been exactly that. Natalie, just before we do this, I, I, I know we're away for the weekend, but I've just got to go and watch your webinar. I'll be back in three hours. Just wait there. <laughs> Five hours later, I'm, I'm, I'm still taking notes. In fact, this is a true story. True, 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 true story. True story. Five years and a half ago when Harry was still in Natalie's womb. So Natalie was pregnant with Harry to the tune of five months. I told Natalie, let's go down to London. And uh, I've got this conference I want to go to on Monday and Tuesday. We'll go to a marketing conference. And you know what we'll do? While we're down there, uh, we'll book a flight out of Heathrow and we'll fly to Sweden. And uh, I promised her to take her to Sweden for three days. We'd always wanted to go height of summer. I thought it'd be cool, cool to go and see Scandinavia. Uh, Tuesday afternoon, bearing in mind we're flying on the Wednesday, I went back after my marketing conference and said to Natalie, um, Natalie, um, would you mind if we didn't go to Sweden tomorrow? And she said, well, why? What's wrong? I said, well, there's nothing wrong. I said, it's just everything I've learned on this conference for the last two days, like I need to go and do it. And, and it's going to actually ruin the holiday if we go to Sweden tomorrow because it's just going to be on my mind. And I think I'm better off going all the way back to the northeast of England, cancelling the holiday and actually implementing three of the things that I've just been taught over the last two days. As you can imagine, it didn't go down too well. Anyway, I promised her that if I implemented the three things, I was so confident that I'd make more money that I'd actually take her on a 10-day holiday if she waited just six to eight weeks. We did exactly that. True, 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 true story. Could you imagine how her friends and family were thinking of me at that time? I, I can imagine every word that I was said. I'm a nut job, a fruit loop, an idiot, stupid. Who do I think I am? Who cancels a holiday? yada 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 right five and a half years on when we're living a wonderful life where my kids get to go and hang out with mickey mouse every single night they don't think i'm a stupid anymore they're starting to ask questions about how i think just a little bit differently so there you go danny tell her that story and if i ever get to meet you face to face make sure you bring your wife and i'll let her have a glass of wine with natalie i'm sure she'll be able to tell some stories and uh, you and i'll be called rest and shit but that's the life, if you like, of an entrepreneur. So uh, welcome to the world. <laughs> right. What else? Kevin Mao, amazing. Love this guy. Uh, able to quit his job. So for all you sitting on the fence who are new and are thinking, you know what? I don't think I need this yet. This is too new for me. Or I'm too new for this. And this is too big of a jump. This is Kevin. Absolute superstar. Able to quit his job after taking Accelerate. I remember speaking to him on Skype when he was in a shitty mill-like clinic job over there in San Francisco. He took Accelerator while he was still working for that shitty mill-like PT clinic. And within three months, he quit 
making more money in a month than he's ever at his mill-like PT clinic job. He's hired a full-time front desk person. He's hiring a full-time PT and his business is soaring. He is now spending more time with his beautiful little boy and his wife than ever, 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 and obviously making a hell of a lot more money as well. This, this is the reality, right? If you commit to it, I can show you success stories from fledgling business owners, brand new business owners, never even started their business business owners, 20 years veterans business owners. The principles never lie. The principles never, ever let you down in business. And if you follow them like I teach you, we'll be good. Kevin is one of many that have proved that this absolutely is for you if you are brand new or you are thinking of quitting your job anytime soon. This is how you will do it successfully and without getting stuck. So here's what to do next. Head over. You've got around about two minutes. At least send some emails off uh, to my team if you're having any problems. We can see people. Looks like there are people trying to enroll uh, credit card issues and various things from the bank and pages crashing and so on and so forth. Um, you've got about two minutes left. For full context, you will be able to enroll after this webinar for another few days, uh, assuming that there are seats left after the webinar tomorrow, but there'll be no additional Facebook or Google bonus included for anybody who can't or won't enroll while they're on uh, this webinar. At least reach out to my team, start the conversation with them if you've got any concerns or questions. Uh, if you do that while we're on the webinar, uh, we can assist you as well. Uh, get your confirmation email, open your seven quick fixes bonus video program and start profiting right away. Uh, get these uh, high value patients at your practice. Uh, Lisa is having some credit card problems there. Who can I call? Do you want to put the telephone number in the uh, chat there? Caitlin is uh, here on hand. If you're in the US or if you're in Britain, we can get you put through to somebody in Britain as well. But Caitlin, uh, Caitlin is here for you. Do I get email confirmation? Rebecca, it might have gone in your spam. Just check. If not, we'll, we'll force it through for you. Uh, so no problem at all. Uh, Lisa, feel free to give us a call. Um, I think the lines are, one of them is free. You'll be able to get through with these people calling. Uh, let's get you to stand out from a very crowded marketplace. Uh, use your marketing to add value to the already great service that you provide. Um, create an automated system that will grow your practice and give you a marketing plan that leverages automation. Help you achieve your clinic's true profitability and speed up the whole process to ensure that you hit the ground running and get all of this right the first time. Head over to Accelerator. Right, let's do this. Let's have some fun. I've got how many? So I'm going to have to go in a couple of minutes, but I'm going to give you one last thing. So if you are truly sitting on the fence, I've got 457 people what look like sitting on the fence, right? Type into the chat if you're sitting on the fence. Type into the chat if you're sitting on the fence. Come on, type into the chat. Let me see who you are. Joseph says I am. Who else? Christian says, I am. Who else? Who else is sitting on the fence? Who else has got a spike up their ass right now sitting on the fence? <laughs> Anybody else? Jonathan says, I am. Right, there's four or five straight away. Come on, any more? Only because I have no cash at the moment. What sort of an excuse is that? Victoria says, fenced. Lisa says, fenced. I need to talk to my partner. Can I sign up tomorrow? But very much interested. Send a quick email, send Kat right now. Send a quick email to Caitlin. Just start that conversation. Just starting and broke, Jonathan. Anybody else? Sitting on the fence. Come on. We'll need to put on credit card. We all have to make decisions. I'm not saying don't put food and water on the table. As long as you don't have to not put food and water on the table, uh, I'm not in favor of that. I will not accept money in favor of food and water on your table. But if it's sticking it on a credit card, we've all done that. Continue to do it. Uh, all registered. Can I get a digital version of your binder? What is the difference between a program and the book? <laughs> the difference between the program and the book. The book's theory. The program is the real, absolute, actionable stuff. You're getting um, probably about 50 grand's worth of advertising as in every newspaper ad, Facebook ad, Google ad, all the scripts, everything that you need. So yeah, the, the, the book is the why, if you like, you know, why it works. This is the how to do it. This is the we'll do it with you, actionable steps. And the big thing that really you're going to get, if I, if I may, you know, for you, Tenor, we're sitting on the fence. Jonathan, objection handling, yes, module two. Module two, we cover uh, all of the objection uh, handling stuff. You get about three or four different scripts in module two. Um, that, that help you. So um, you get 
I'm looking at it here, right? So this is this is the like the binder. So there you go. Who's that? Who I start? Jonathan. There's one of the slides. Overcoming objections. Talk to you about how to do it. So this thing here, the binder, kind of can you can you all see this? Hang on. Here's the binder. All right. So this kind of shows you what we go through, all the scripts, the implementation sheet shows you all of your ads. Hang on, um, you get your ad sets, the different types of ads that we run, why they work, how they work. You get your workbook at the end. There's all your different Facebook advertising. See all the different ads from Facebook? So you'll get all of this stuff. Um, you'll get in module five, all the website stuff. It's that much stuff. This bloody thing is huge these days. It started off um, much smaller, but every time we add more and more ads to it. So this thing is now epic. Um, what else do you get in here? Let me sort this out. I want to show you a few things. So you'll get um, you'll get your workbooks each week as we go through the module. But what you'll also get, hang on. Um, oh, there's your toolkit. There it is. This bloody thing don't work. There it is. You'll get your toolkit, which is here. So the toolkit for somebody who asked, what scripts do you get? So in your toolkit, you get all of them things. How to answer the different phone calls, whether it's incoming calls, drop-offs, cancellations, and so on. Uh, we'll give you all of that, as well as, as well as, if you like to watch, all on DVD. And if you like to listen, all on CD. So you can have me in the car, you can watch me on the internet, or you can read me on your desk. So here's what I'm going to do. For all of you sitting on the fence right now, if you sign up right now, you've got 30 seconds to do it, I'll send you one of these. You can have this. You can have this. $300 we sell these for. You can have this. So for you who are sitting on the fence right now, the next three to enroll, I'll give away this to you. There you go. You can get the binders, get the ads, everything given to you, sent. You can be on, or I can be on your desk. You can have the workbooks. You can have the modules all printed out, hundreds of dollars worth. Uh, it is literally $300 worth. It cost me $300 to create this thing and print it out, all the CDs, um, and I'll give it to you for free. So there you go. How's about that? Can't say it much fairer than that. So let's get you over the line. And yes, of course, Kimberly, uh, no problem whatsoever. Um, let's get you over the line. If you're sitting on the fence, this is your only opportunity to get this binder uh, sent to you with everything uh, that you need to be able to do it. Let's rock. All right, who's in? There, let me show you this is, this is so fucking heavy. I can barely even hold it up. There's your toolkit, right? Are you ready? Toolkit. Ads, scripts, processes, everything that you need to do. If you like to learn, this is it. It is the Bible. This took us a year to put together. A year to put together. It will land on your doorstep. It will land on your doorstep. Uh, Michael, don't worry. Uh, we will take care of you. Uh, there is a little issue there with Michael not receiving his email. Caitlin, if you can just jump on that for Michael, that would be much helpful. This is how heavy it is. Boom. Check that out. That's the sound of all of your problems disappearing, everybody. You ready? You ready? You ready? The sound of doctor referral issues disappearing. One more. The sound of all of your marketing worries disappearing when this thing lands on your door. Here we go. Hold your hands out. I'm going to give it to you now. Hold your hands out. Everybody, hold your hands. Hold your, hold your hands to the, to the camera. Hang on. Are you ready? Do you, would you like it? Here, here it is. It's coming. <laughs> Are you ready? Let's see if we can. Can we do this yet? Can we di digitally? Somebody, says, somebody asked for a copy. So here we go. See if I can give you a digital copy. It's coming. It, it's coming. Can you, can you get it? Have you got it over there in Vegas? There you go. There you go. It's landed in England. Boom. This is, this is the first one. Check this out. This is true. This is the evolution of this business, right? And this is the evolution of this program. Look at that. Look at that, right? That 
That was the first version of this baby. Now look at the real version. Now look at today's version. Twice, if not three times the size. That's got everything. 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 Scripts. Ads. What to do if they say this. What you do if they say that. What, what if they say this. What if they say that. All the emails. The ads. Collectively. The whole thing. Oh, Hartley Puller getting beat 2 0 off Dover Athletic. What is going on? Roberto, you are not getting one cent for giving me that bad news. That is not good. How's my big team? In England, you have two teams, right? Check this out. You always have two teams in England. You have a big team and your local team. Liverpool's my big team. How are they doing? Give me some good news. Right, I'm going to have to go. Uh, right, it's for Chantelle who's watching with me. She put in her email and has not received it. Caitlin is on it. Michael, don't worry. We've got two people on this. We will absolutely sort this out for you and just make sure everything's uh, completely fine. Jonathan is trying to enroll. Lisa's just enrolled. Good for you. Is there anybody else sitting on the fence? What else can I give you? What else can I do to make you, come on, what else do you need from me? Blood? <laughs> what else do you need? How can I make it easier for you to enroll? Tell me. If you're on the fence, this goes away in a minute and Google and Facebook goes away in a moment. What are you going to do? Google or Facebook setup plus all the other stuff. There's that much of it I forgot, and I'll ship this to your house. You will get a copy of this. As we've gone through the program, you will get a copy of this to your house. I will sit on your desk forever. You can take me to bed with you. Just don't tell Natalie. You can take me on vacation with you. I'm happy to come with you on that as well. Heck, you can take me to the toilet with you. Do whatever you want. I just want you to have access to everything that's in this. And it's coming your way if you enroll in the next 30 seconds. Is there anybody that I need to stay on for? Or are we good? Of course I'll ship it to you in Canada. Absolutely, Lisa. No problem whatsoever. We do not discriminate. We are an equal opportunity provider of information. Wherever you are in the world, we accept your dollars cheerfully. <laughs> hey, you've got to make yourself laugh when you do these things. Lisa, it's, it's on its way. Take, take that as a given. The only place we can't ship to is Europe because England and Europe don't get on right now. So if you are in Europe, uh, there may be some problems uh, getting our stuff to you. And that's Boris Johnson's and whoever else's fault. Um, thanks, Paul. We'll think about it over the next few days. Take care. Joseph, cool. Glad you've enjoyed it. Hope for Lee, I keep you awake at night for the next three days and I can't be anything but in your head and in your brain. Remember this British accent telling you that if you want to grow a business, you need a marketing system. There you go. This British accent is not going away. It's going to be just there every night when you're talking to your loved ones, you're going to hear a British accent telling you your marketing problem is still there unless you fix it. We ain't going anywhere. You and I are going to get to know each other very, very well. Right. Can I go now? What time is it? 2.39 here in Orlando. Has everybody had a good time? That's the most important thing. We always like to have fun when we do these webinars. Type into the chat. Uh, let me know. 421 of you. Thank you very, very much. Yes, Michael. Of course. Uh, absolutely. Gus says yepers. Great. I think, Gus, I think I was speaking to Simon about you recently, if you're the same, Gus. I uh, had all good things about you. Uh, right, type into the chat. Let's do this properly. Uh, let me know what your big takeaway from the class was. Uh, Victoria is inspired. Good. Type into the chat. Let me know what you've learned from the uh, webinar today. Uh, type in, let me know. I always love to know. Look, I'm, I'm serious about learning and serious about commitment. You spent two hours with me. I appreciate it deeply, deeply, deeply. Uh, be sure to let me know how it impacted you. And if you aren't joining the program, make sure that you do something from this. If nothing else, it should have lifted your spirits to know that something is possible. And all of that head trash about insurance and docs, that's, that, that's going to kill you, kill you if you let that be in your head. Wherever you are right now, there is always a way. There is always a way. And all that stands in the way is you. That's it. And that's the best news on earth when you realize that every problem we've got is our fault. And therefore, every solution that we need, it's in our grasp. It's a, it's, it's a double-edged card. It's wonderful. A double-edged sword. There is, if there's problems, it's our fault. And if there's solutions, we can just as easily find them. It takes just as much effort to whinge and whine and bitch and moan as it does to go and figure out 
the solutions. So one last time, uh, progression from Facebook to Google is cool. Yeah, 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 it's, it's mega right now. Uh, this is going to clarify your book that we've both been reading and a huge opportunity. Yeah, good. Michael, very much uh, appreciate that. I look forward to getting to know you. And uh, that's a cool thing about these programs. Uh, it's another 35 businesses and people I get to know. I've got friends all over the world and, and people that I'm getting to know very, very, uh, very, very well through my classes and courses. Uh, I like to have a lot of fun. but I'm very serious. I promise you about business. Uh, very, very, very serious when it comes to business. So uh, the uh, best part, I'll get to know you as a person. Uh, and I'll get to find out more about your business as well. So I look forward to getting to know you. Uh, digital, I don't think I can do digital ad, re, uh, I can only do the physical uh, of that. Uh, I can't wait to get you more as well. Uh, I enjoy your style of teaching. Me too, me too, thank you. Uh, it's great fun. Uh, Adri, I'll see what I can do. Can't promise it, can't promise it. I've never done it before. Um, can't wait to get to know you more as well as I enjoy uh, your style of teaching. Thank you. All right, right. I'm going to have to go. I'm taking the kids. Uh, Grayson, my four-week-old, is making his debut at Disney World today. So uh, we're going to have some fun. Weather looks good outside today. I don't think there's any rain or hurricanes forecast. So hopefully we'll get on Peter Pan. In fact, I'm scheduled. This is this. Do you guys know this? Are you coming to Disney today? I'm scheduled for Peter Pan, Buzz, and what was the third one? Peter Pan, Buzz, and uh, I think one of the Toy Story rides. So it's going to be a fun afternoon. Lisa says, can't wait to get started. Uh, cool, catch up on module one. Great, great, great. All right, thanks everybody. Last chance and send a quick email if you're having a problem enrolling. Once Caitlin takes care of you, uh, we'll be good and we can get you enrolled and, and give you the bonuses. Uh, three, two, uh, one. Thanks everybody. I will uh, look forward to seeing you all again very, very soon on the, on the class. See you oh, tomorrow. I'll be back tomorrow on the webinar. We're going to do it all again. See you soon.